front arch on, and I'm going to press that button there. Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for joining us for a three-player playthrough of Voidfall. I don't know about you two, but I'm very excited about oh, this. I'm very um, nervous. We're, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I've, I've done a few playthroughs of this over the last uh, four or five weeks, but they've all been practice games. Uh, this is the first proper playthrough live on the channel with the final version of the game. Um, you can hear us and you can see us okay. Excellent. Don't worry, when we start playing, we're going to get rid of us. Because otherwise, you yeah, you, you won't see too much of the screen. Um, so have a look at our faces now, because when we actually switch to the main game view, we're not going to be on screen. Uh, this takes up a lot of space on the table, so much that I'm glad we're only three players mm -hmm. because we would not have room for a fourth player. Um, and yeah, we're going to be switching to full screen, full game on screen. Uh, so you're not going to see us while we're doing the uh, while we're doing the playthrough. So yeah, thank you very much for joining us tonight. A uh, couple of things before we start. First of all, a big thank you to Mind Clash Games for sponsoring this video. Also, a big thank you to all of my Patreon supporters for funding the channel. Um, we're going to be teaching you a bit about the game tonight but i have released a full how to play video on the game so if you are looking for a full how to play video that is on the channel now just have a look back from uh last friday i think i made it live is it last friday thursday i think something yeah. like that anyway about a week ago that's on the channel um but if you're completely new to voidfall whilst we're not going to dive into all of the full details of how you play we are going to be giving you an overview but tonight it's mainly a playthrough uh, also, I am running a contest. Um, so if you want to win a copy of Voidfall, in fact, pretty much this copy of Voidfall, uh, just without some of the bits, because I've used some bits tonight from the Galactic Box, um, but I do have a copy of the game to give away. The link to that contest I've put in the chat, if you just scroll up, and I will be putting it in the description of this video. Uh, but to get the answers that you need to enter the contest, it's not in this video. It's in the how to play video. So go and check out the how to play video and there is a contest uh, and share that link with your friends. So if, if you already have a copy of the game or you've got a copy on the way, uh, but one of your friends might want to win it, send them the link to the contest, send them the link to the how to play video. Uh, and yeah, I'll be doing that draw sometime in September. Right. Are we all done? Apart from introducing you two. So Stephen's joining me tonight. Stephen joined us for the tutorial, tutorial, which was a Patreon only stream, yes. I think, where we sat down. Now, you've not played it since then. No. So you've only played the tutorial. This is your first time playing the full game. Yes. And you've chosen, at uh, random, uh, one, one of the <laughs> one of the more complex factions. Yeah. I mean, it's only difficulty rating four. <laughs> yeah. Sure. But, out it, of, but, it, out of but it's out of four. Out of four. Out of four. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Should be fun. Should be fun. So thank you for joining us. JP Good. is a big fan of the game. Love you it. have your own copy of it. Yep. And you've actually played it a few times this now. Be my fourth player. Fourth player of it. So I should know what I'm doing. Should know what you're doing. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, we're hoping that we get all of the rules right tonight. But as is always the case with these live playthroughs, we might make a slight mistake during the game. If you notice that we've forgotten to do something or we've missed something, Please let us know in the chat. We will be keeping an eye on the chat and we will be self-correcting ourselves as we go along. In the hopefully rare case that something gets spotted afterwards, then if you're one of the people who is watching this video back after it's been live, turn on your subtitles, switch them to the Klingon channel. And if anybody does spot anything afterwards, I will add in Klingon subtitles into the video. But hopefully we will catch everything uh, as we go. Right. We're going we're gonna to say goodbye now while I press this button. And as you can see, we've got pretty much the whole table filled with this. So the scenario that we've chosen to play tonight, or told to play by, um, by one of the designers, is Echoes of the Past. So there are multiple scenarios included in this game. Different ones for cooperative, different ones for solo. Uh, we're playing the competitive game today. And the flavour text behind Echoes of the Past is... As the, great, as the war between the last great houses and the forces of the Voidborn devastated the Dominaeum, the last front line brought the remnants of humanity to the edge of the known galaxy. As they sought to establish their last stand on the undiscovered planets, they soon discovered ancient ruins, which is here, and abandoned research complexes of unknown origins. The ancient knowledge found there could now be of great advantage to the houses and even turn the tide of war to their favour. So each... Each scenario has a particular map layout, which you set up exactly as it's listed here. It has the different houses that you can play. 
it has the galactic events which are off camera uh that one shouldn't be there that should be there uh we've got the four fallen houses so we have fallen houses in this scenario uh and what we've got is we've got four of them three of those were chosen at random there's one here there's one here there's one here these are in fixed positions but they are randomized thank you very much matt for the super chat uh, and we have particular technologies. So the game comes with a whole, I've forgotten how many technologies, it's quite 20, yeah, something, something like that. Like that yeah. But we've got the eight technologies here and we've got our technologies as well. Um, we are playing individual houses. It's an asymmetric game in terms of, whilst the rules apply to all of us, we all have different tech trees. We all have different civilization tracks. We have different special abilities. Uh, we have all sorts of different stuff. Um, the, the game plays just give you a very high level overview of the game. We're going to be playing the game over three cycles. Each cycle is divided into three phases. We have This is the galactic board here. We have phase A, where we do steps one, two, three, and four. Then we have phase B, which is the bulk of the game. We're going to be doing phase B for quite a while. This is where players will take turns, playing cards, performing actions, and doing all of this stuff. We do this a number of times based on the card that will get placed here, which we don't know what it is yet. Once we've done all of our turns, we then go into phase C, uh, which is called evaluation, I think it is. Mm. I think it is. Uh, the Voidborn are going to strike back. We do upkeep, and we're going to score lots of influence. The objective of the game is to have the most influence at the end of the three cycles, which is represented by this icon here. So yeah, three cycles of the game, three phases in each cycle. We're going to start off in phase A, but for the first cycle of the game, you skip steps one, two, and three, because they've sort of already been done, and we do step four. So step four is we take a galactic event. So there are three galactic events for um, each cycle of the game. These are the galactic events which were chosen based on the scenario. So this scenario says that we should be having um, B, F, and G. And what we've done is we take them, we shuffle them, we pick one at random, and we place it on here. The other two, these get discarded. We, do, we don't need those, but we do have, off camera, we have the three, uh, the three galactic events for cycle two and the three galactic events for cycle three. Because there is one way in the game that you can peek at those um, and have a bit of an idea of what's happening. So, the galactic event has been revealed and there's lots of information on this. First of all, this number here, five times. That means when we go into phase B, we're going to be doing this whole thing five times each. So we are going to get five turns each when we get into phase B before we then move to phase C. We've also got certain things that we need to do now, which are listed on here. And we have scoring conditions here, which you will see from this red line happens here. So when we get to phase C, step three of phase C is we evaluate the scoring conditions on the galactic event. So we're going to go through these now so that we know what to do. First of all, uh, we all need to, and this icon here means we all need to do it, we need to add a reclaim token and a sector defence to one adjacent Voidborn sector. And then once we've done that, we need to once, so just once for all of us, we need to add a corruption marker to that specific agenda slot. And then, notice this has got a, a dashed border rather than a solid border. This is a may. So this means we may activate a fleet power or um, deploy one fleet power to our home sector. Mm -hmm. So let's look over at the main board. First thing we need to do, thank you very much, is we need to add a reclaim token. So Stephen, there is your reclaim token. These, these are the good ones. These are the good ones. Yeah. Reclaim tokens are really nice benefits that you will get. Yeah. Uh, there's your reclaim thank token. You. And there's my reclaim token. So we all need to add a reclaim token to a voidborn sector that is adjacent to us. Now, a voidborn sector, as you might suspect, is one that has voidborn in it. And if you're watching this video and you're, you're thinking, well, wait a minute, doesn't the game come with miniatures? The game does come with miniatures. However, for the overhead camera, we're, we're using the cardboard tokens today because it's easier to see the ships. Um, and as you can see, we've each got uh, two sectors. These are my two sectors to start with. Uh, Stephen's got these two here. JP's got these two here. You start off with a home sector and an outpost sector. Uh, and then you've got Voidborn in pretty much the rest of them, except we each have a fallen house near us. So other, other humans that have gone down the dark path and they, they have fallen. We'll explain these center sectors in a minute. So 
we could choose any void one sector near us. So it's supposed to be done in player order, but I don't think it really matters because we're not really close to each other at the moment. No. Um, That's where it's going. So these reclaim tokens make them... Um, make them good targets. Make, make though, them more beneficial yeah. to take over them, but the sector defence... <laughs> yeah. I'm going to put it in there. So you go opposite to me, Stephen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No guts, no glory. Right. And Big then we have to corrupt one of the agenda slots. So I'm just going to show you this, this agenda board over here, uh, which is sideways just because of the way we've got it on the screen. But what we have is we have um, four different types of agendas that we can take during the game. They do have a name. I can't remember what the names are. Um, let's look in the glossary so that we get the names correct. So at the top, we have support agendas. Yeah. Then we have might. might. Then we have wealth. And then we have dominance. So they are the four different types of agendas. And as you can see, there is a, a face up card on the right hand side and a face down deck on the left hand side. And whenever you take an agenda, you can either take the face up one or two of the face down ones, choose one, put the other to the bottom. But this galactic event has told us that we need to corrupt the dominance one. So the bottom one is corrupted. That means if we choose to take a dominance class of agenda, it comes with that corruption marker. Now that corruption marker can go anywhere. You don't have to put it on the agenda slot, but that's that. And then finally, all players may either activate one fleet power or deploy one fleet power to their home sector. So a quick note about fleet power in this game. Each player has 14 fleet power cubes. Now you'll notice that I've got one here. I've, I start with one active. That's because my starting origin card that I chose at the start of the game, you get a choice of two. Uh, my chosen one started with one active fleet power. Uh, the rest of them go in here, apart from the ones that I already have on the board. So I do have a few on the board already, but activating a fleet power basically means moving it from there to there. <coughs> Deploying a fleet power means moving it from there onto the board. So again, this is done in turn order. Mm -hmm. Stephen, what would you like to do? I am going to deploy. I'm not going to deploy. I'm going to activate. I'm going to deploy. OK, so deploying to your home sector, which basically means moving a cube from there and putting it into your home sector. Now, at the start of the game, each player has one class of ships, the Corvette. The Corvette class of ship, every player has access to that at the start of the game. And depending on the various technologies that you have in the game, other types of ship will become available later on. In this particular setup, this is an interesting setup, this scenario. We have destroyers and that's it. We don't have any carriers. We don't have any dreadnoughts. We don't have any sentries. We only have destroyers as the other type of ship available mm -hmm. which is why on our combat board here if you know the game you will know that we you add extra parts to this basically it's a detachable sections and you add different sections to it um depending on which ships are in the game so we don't have many ships on here and the only reason we have star bases in here is because these science sectors these have star bases pre-printed on them so just to give you a very quick overview of the board and what we have each of us has our home sector. We have an outpost sector, which is also controlled by us. These sectors have guilds in them. The guilds determine our production levels of the five different types of resources, which is food, energy, materials, credits, and science. We also have lots of voidborn sectors that we're going to be trying to take over. And when we do, we're going to control those sectors. That's going to give us all sorts of bonuses. As I've mentioned, there is a fallen house sector, which in this scenario is adjacent to our home sector. So we can attack that, we can take them over, um, and we will get bonuses for conquering them. Each of us also has a sector near us. Again, I just want to get the terminology correct, so I know what it's called. It's called a... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I'm calling it a science sector, but it's probably something better. It's a research, research. complex. Yeah. So each of us has a research complex. And what I'm going to do is... Where's my other camera? button thing. Have I got one? There it is. Bear with a minute. I'm just going to show you. Here you go. So this is a research complex. Uh, and you can see here that there is a pre-printed starbase. 
Star bases work like sector defences, so when we attack it, there is going to be some defence. It has a fixed population die. Now, you notice that this is black with red pips instead of purple with blue pips. This is fixed, which means, as you might suspect, it cannot be changed. It's a fixed population of four for the whole game. Uh, now, taking over this sector is definitely beneficial because if you do, not only has it got a pre-printed engineer's guild, which means your production of energy will go up by four because that's the population, but as long as you control this sector, it gives you an ability that energy and science can be exchanged on a one-for-one -one basis for each other, which is great because mm. science is actually quite hard to get hold of. So yeah, this is a research complex, but currently it's occupied by two Voidborn Corvettes and a Starbase. So it's going to be quite tricky to, to take control of that. We've each got one of them near us. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you the middle of the map. So as you could, as you, as you heard in the introduction, this is some ancient ruins. Now, first of all, there's no population on here, so you can control this sector, but there's no population, there's no guild, so you won't increase your production. But as long as you've got control of this sector, first of all, if you control it, which is what this icon means, you immediately get to take a technology, either a basic one or improved one. That's just for taking it. Then, as long as you control the sector, uh, whenever you play either that card or that card, which is progress or innovation, that's correct, yeah. You can spend one science to do all three actions on the card instead of two. We'll explain this more in a bit more detail later on, but essentially, when you play a card, you get to do two of the three actions. This allows you to spend one science to do all three actions. Also, the limit of improved technologies is increased by one. This icon here actually is a bad thing. Normally, you can only have three Voidborn uh, fleets in one particular place, or one token with three cubes on it. This means you can have two tokens, each with three cubes on them. It's also two upkeep. This icon is upkeep. So if you've got control of this sector, it's two upkeep. So this is the central place. It's quite powerful. Now, what we have adjacent to this are these three sectors. Now, these are standard sectors. There's nothing special about them, but they are quite well protected. There's two Voidborn fleets. There's a sector defense, but there's two reclaim tokens, and it's worth four glory. So these are actually really, really useful for us to take over because we're going to get loads of points for doing it and to reclaim tokens. Now, the next thing to explain are these. These are wormholes. And the rules for wormholes are that any sector which is adjacent to a wormhole, so in other words, this one is adjacent to here, these void storms stop, stop it being adjacent. So this one is adjacent to this one. And if a sector is adjacent to a, a wormhole, then it is considered to be adjacent to any other sector anywhere on the map, which is also adjacent to the wormhole of the same letter. So there's actually A wormholes and there's B wormholes in the game. Mm -hmm. But in this game, we're just using the A wormholes. Now, because of the position of these void storms, what this essentially means is that this sector, this sector and this sector are all adjacent to each other. That is essentially what this map layout uh, means. But if, for example, that wasn't there, then it means that this sector is also adjacent to this one. Yeah. But it is there, so we don't need to worry about that. <laughs> yeah. But I yeah. think, I mean, none of us have played this scenario before. Right. If you've played this scenario, let, let me know. But essentially, once we all get through to this nice juicy sector that's worth loads of points, suddenly we are actually quite close to each other. Right. That's it. Any questions about the map? Not from me. No, I think we're all good. Right. So, as I mentioned, we are in cycle one of the game. We are in phase A. We skip steps one, two, and three. We've done step four, but just going to quickly cover these scoring conditions because this is something that you need to look at at the start of the cycle, and you need to you need to aim for it. So, when we get through to the evaluation phase in step three, we're going to score this on the wrong camera. I think. Am I on the wrong camera? Yeah. I'm on the wrong camera. Sorry. There you go. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, when we get through to phase C and we're in step three, we're going to score these two conditions on here. Well, I said we're not going to score two. We're going to score one of them because there is a red line with a slash. So what that means is we either each choose individually the top one or the bottom one. If we choose the top one, then what that means is if we have a, a non-starting agenda under our player board that is pure, then we can build an installation. We just need to have one of them, which is what the equals two signs mean. 
Or instead of doing that, if we have five or more pure guilds, we can take an agenda. So they are things that we should be aiming to do. In addition to that, and I will now just show you my player board, each of us has a starting agenda. And in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my starting agenda on here. So this is the starting agenda that I have. And if you don't know the game, you might be very scared already by the number of icons in this game. But trust me, the iconography in this game is extremely intuitive. So although it might appear overwhelming at first, once you get to know this iconography, and there is an index as well for you to look it all up, it does become a lot easier. So this is my personal agenda that I am going to be looking to do. And this is scored in phase C. And it means I'm going to score three points for every pure sector that has two or more fleet power in it. I'm going to score three points for every pure sector that has four or more population. I'm going to score one influence, call it influence and points, same thing, for every reclaim token I've got. And I'm also going to score one influence for every two bounty tokens. This is unique to me. Stephen has his own one, and you know what you're aiming to do. I do. JP, you've got your yep. own one, you know what you're aiming to do. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. <laughs> We've also got our own starting technology. We'll explain that when we come to do it. But yeah. starting technology is based on your chosen origin card. And there's all sorts of extra stuff in the game. You need to be aware before you start playing of what technology is in the game so that you know what you're going to be doing. Can we have two void born here? Have I, have, I missed, have I missed something in setup? Please. Two people. Correct. Yeah. Thank you very much. There should be two void born there, where are we? There we go. And we got two orange cubes. Yeah, there were. See, Mark did offer. He said, if you send me a picture of the setup, I'll check it for you. And I went, no, I'll be all right. Yeah. And I knew when I said that, that I'd probably get something wrong. Okay, so we do have two Voidborn hanging around the ancient ruins. And we need to clear out if we want. Up to, up to no good. Mm -hmm. Up to no good. Right, so we're good to go. Now, each player has nine focus cards. We don't all have the same focus cards. In fact, I have two special ones because I'm playing House Yarvek. Stephen, you've got one. Oh, you've got, got two, two special, special ones as well. Same. You've got two special ones. But one of my special ones is actually a replacement with a different name. Yep. Same. So the nine cards that each player normally has are Temptation, Progress, Reinforcement, Production, Development, Politics, Prosperity, Conquest, and Innovation. And Stephen, they are the nine cards that you've got. Yes. But two of your cards These are two. slightly different versions of them. My house, I don't have an innovation card. Instead, I have a raid card. So that completely replaces it, which is a very, very different card. And we are now going to start phase B, which is in player order, which is this order here. Each of us is going to take a turn and we will do that. And it's going to be yellow, then purple, then green. And then that's one. And then we do the same thing again, turn two, turn three, turn four, turn five. And once we've all done this five times, then that's the end of phase B. So what you do on your turn is you choose and play a focus card. You could also, if you had one, place a trade token and agenda. We don't have those. And then what you do, and I'll just show you, this is a focus card here. You'll see that there's three actions printed on it. You can then choose two of those actions and you perform those two actions in any order you want to. At the end of your turn, you must discard, you cannot have more than two fleet tokens in a sector. You cannot have more than four glory tokens. If you played an agenda, you must took the agenda. And if you gained a trade token, you must now find a home for that trade token. We'll explain those more as they happen, basically. But, Stephen. Yes. <laughs> you, you've, you've been thinking about this. For days and days. <laughs> These two have actually planned the whole of cycle one. I haven't. So there might be a bit of downtime when it gets to me. I'm just going to. We might uh, change our plans. We might, depending on what you do, Paul. Yeah. Just to have that the right way up. Right. Okay. I okay. am going to go into politics. Okay. So I'm going to pay one science. So you've played the politics card. Yep. You're not playing a trade token or an agenda because you I'm can't. I'm not. You're now going to choose two of the actions from that card. So the so first I'm going action. To inspire my people. Okay. And that basically move moves your and marker move on the civilization track. Yep. So may I have what would you like, sir? The agenda, the top agenda. The top agenda. I'll take the I'll take the exposed just, one, yeah. please. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Thank you. So you take an agenda that goes into your hand. Yeah. And at the end of your turn, you will have to tuck that agenda into one of your slots. Place it straight away. That gets replaced straight away. 
So agendas is a way that you're going to score points. I showed you my agenda and that's going to score in the evaluation phase. The more agendas you've got, the more points you're going to score. So taking agendas and then playing them is important. Okay. Then I am going to spend a coin to uh, do some control. So I'm going to take a trade token. Take a trade token. So you always take a trade token. You take it from the bottom and you immediately get the bonus that's printed here or below it. So you could I think take I, a bounty. I, th I think I'll take a bounty. One size. Make it a good one. It's got to be a good one. There you go. It's one of anything. anything. One resource to start bar. And what you keep you like? the bounty tokens because, yeah. uh, well, for, for me, they're worth influence. And I have special abilities that I can actually spend them to do Make cool stuff. Yeah, you can score off them as well. Okay. And on the agendas. And uh, Nigel is saying that agenda tucking is optional. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, if you play an agenda, you may took it, yeah. or you could actually just discard it. Because playing an agenda is getting extra actions. So yeah. That's the and I'm also going to. So you can move, move a corruption. So I'm going to move this one. So corruption is a big part of this game, and it's these uh, it's these orange plastic sort of miniature things. And corruption can exist in your sectors on the board, or it can exist in on your house mat. Now you can corrupt these agenda slots, and if an agenda slot is corrupted, it won't score for you. Or you can corrupt one of your civilization tracks, um, at which point you can still move the marker, but you don't get the bonus if you move it. So you've chosen to corrupt. Oh, we just want corrupt that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You've corrupted that agenda slot. Yeah. Okay. Should I take this now? You didn't play it. I didn't play no, it. No, so it's in your hand. Yes. It stays in your hand until you play it. The relevant card. Oh, with the relevant card. Yeah. Where, with the relevant card. And then once you've it. played it, you then took it at the end of your turn or yep. discard it. Yeah. So your turn is done. We yes. don't we don't have to check any of these things because no. it's 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 nice and simple. So you're up, Paul. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, nine cards in hand, but not all the same. Yeah, although the innovation card cannot be played in cycle one. That's so I you said. two have an innovation card already in your discard pad. So they've only got eight cards to choose from for cycle one. I don't have the innovation card, so I actually have nine cards to choose from. And my trade token has gone here. Oh, yes, trade token. That's the it. You gained turn. a trade token, so you put that there. If yep. you didn't have space for it, you'd have to, you'd have to lose it. Um, again, it would take me an hour to explain all of the rules of this game. So this is the playthrough. The idea of this video is to complement the how to play video. If you are watching this video or you've watched this video and you think, right, I now want to know properly how to play the game. The how to play video is the one that you, you need to watch. I thought I was going to be able to explain all of the rules as we go along. And I've realized that's not going to happen. No, it, I don't it's not going to happen. <laughs> That's why you did an hour long playthrough. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Right. And in fact, if I if I did that how to play video as an in-person teach, it would be longer. Yeah. It would definitely be longer. Now, I said, did I do something absolutely crazy at the start of the game? You're going to do it, aren't you? I think I'm going to do it. Yeah. So I'm in, <laughs> I'm in a unique position that I've actually got three Corvettes here and one Corvette here. And I've worked out that I could take on this fallen house at the start of the game. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just working out how to do it because I have, I have multiple action, actions. I've got raid, I've got conquest, and ah. I've, got, I've got prevail. Your raid allows. And I think, I think I'm also going to be doing a bit of politics. Yeah. I'm going to be doing the politics. So this is the card that I'm playing. This is the politics card. Uh, and he's got three actions on it. Inspire, prevail and control. I'm going to choose to do the prevail action. And I'm probably also going to choose to do the control action. Now, which order do I want to do those in? I think I'm going to choose to do the prevail action first. So this is a cost. I have to pay this cost in order to do the action. This is minus two energy. Uh, and also I need to spend one credit. So what I do is I take my little production wheel here. This on the left hand side is what you're producing. And this on the right hand side is what you've got. So I need to spend two energy 
So I drop that down to one and I also need to spend one credit. So I drop that down to two. So I have paid the cost and I can now do the action. So this first icon here, and I'm not going to go through all of the icons in the game, but what this means is I upgrade one of my glory tokens. So I, I have a glory token of value two. I get rid of that and I replace it with the glory token of value three. So that's that. And then this icon means that I can invade. So when you invade, you basically move, uh, you, you can move your ships into an adjacent sector and you attack it. Um, but one thing you don't want to do in this game is you don't want to abandon. You can, if you want to, with this action, you could abandon one of your sectors. But generally speaking, you don't want to do that because if you do, you lose control of the sector, the Voidborn move in and it's really bad. Your home sector, though, you are allowed to abandon it and there is no negative effect. So what I'm going to do, and again, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to zoom in a little bit on this here just to show you it in a bit more detail. Combat in this game is deterministic. If you didn't know that before watching this video, if you were expecting us to be rolling lots of dice, you're going to be very disappointed. Combat is absolutely deterministic. So this is the fallen house that I'm going to try and take on. And I know that they have two sector defenses. They don't, uh, they don't have any ships. They've just got two sector defenses. Now the sector defenses, each one of them is going to destroy one of my ships in what's called the approach step of combat unless I had shields or anything else. I don't I don't have any anything like that. Um, but what I do have is I have lots of ships to soak up the damage. So two sector defenses basically means that in the approach step of combat, I am going to lose two ships. So if I go in with only two corvettes, my two corvettes get blown up mm -hmm. and that's it. That's the end of the battle. So I know I need to attack it with three or more. Now I have three corvettes here, but if I if I move those in there, then I have abandoned this sector, which is really bad. Thankfully, what I can do is I can split and just have another Corvette token. There we go. I'm going to split this fleet into a one and a two. I'm going to leave that one behind. I'm going to move those two into there. And then I'm going to move this Corvette fleet up there. And I'm just going to merge them together like that. And this is my home sector. So I am able to abandon that and there is no negative effect. So I've moved in there. Uh, which has demonstrated the fact that whenever you um, attack a sector, you can basically move in from multiple multiple adjacent sectors. So what we now do is we now resolve the combat. And as, as I've mentioned, every sector defense will destroy one of my ships in the approach step. So I lose two ships. Now, whenever you lose ships, these uh, fleet power cubes go back to your active area. You don't actually put them back inactive. They just go back here. Um, but then I win the combat because we now get to what's called the salvo step. And because the other side doesn't have any initiative, I basically go first and I, I win the combat. If I show you the combat board here, all of the combat rules are explained on here. So what we had is we had the approach step and we had the sector defenses. So in defense, each sector defense will deal one approach damage for each sector defense, which is why I lost two ships. Then we went into the salvo steps and the salvo steps repeat over and over again. And because I had corvettes, I win and they don't have anything. That's basically the end of the battle. So that's how a combat works when all you're fighting against is sector defenses. Uh, now, because I have taken out this, we have a look at it and I get all sorts of bonuses. So because I have now taken over this fallen house, I have shown them the error of their ways. I get this ability here. So I can spend one science to improve my lowest civilization track. I also gain one of these two technologies here and I flip this card over and I put it next to my board. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to spend one science to advance my lowest civilization track. Now I have two civilization tracks, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to advance that one. And that icon is I increase the population of a pure sector. Now, could it be this one? What's that? I wonder if it could be this one. I'm not going to make it this one, but I, I wonder if I could actually... Oh, no, it's not pure. It's not pure. It's not pure. No. I can't do that one. So I'm going to increase the population of this sector here. So the dice, we're not going to roll these dice. The dice represent the population. It's gone from three to four. Now, what that means, whenever the population of a sector changes, if there are guilds in that sector, you must adjust your production. So I, I basically have three people that were working as 
what are these people? Miners. I had three yeah. miners. I now have four miners. So what I do is I go to my board and I now have four miners instead of three, which means I'm going to be producing more materials. Uh, what was the other thing I'm doing? Um, so I spent the science. Did I spend the science? I don't think I spent the science. So I spend the science. I move up on that track. And then I can either take cloning or destroyers. So this is the technology tableau here. We've got eight of them here and we've got three of them here. And I'm going to take destroyers. So whenever you gain a new technology, you slot it in onto one of the technology slots above your player mat. And because I've got a fallen house card, I have six slots instead of five. Doesn't matter where you put it. Uh, but straight away, you get all of the, the bonuses printed on the bottom. So I gain four influence and I can deploy a destroyer to my home sector. So I'm just going to put that in there. So I gain four influence. Remember, this is victory points. And I can immediately deploy a destroyer to my home sector. So when you deploy a fleet, it has to come from your active fleet power area. And that goes on there. Um, that's it. Now I've won this combat. So as, as, as well as winning the combat, you take the glory token, you yep. put it with all of your other glory tokens, and then you score influence based on the total number of glory tokens. So based on the total value of the glory tokens you have. So I now have glory tokens worth four. So I gain another four. And I think that's it. I think we've had our that's first combat. First action. That's my first <laughs> action. <laughs> wow. Well, yeah. So that's, that's my first action. combo -tastic. Of my prevail, which was to do that and do that and do that. And I think we've done the rest of the combat because there were no, well, there were two sector defenses, but they've been destroyed. Yeah. Um, there's no bounties or reclaim. No please. bounties, no reclaim yep. tokens. So that's it. Yep. Nice. Now, what I'm now going to do is I'm going to do the control action. I'm going to spend one credit. I am going to take a trade token. So I'm going to take this trade token here. Um, I am going to take a bounty token. Because I like bounty tokens. And it is... I can gain a food and an energy or one influence. I'm going to get a food and an energy. So one food, one energy. Um, and I can move a corruption. That's what you did, wasn't it? I did. I used. Yeah. Yeah. Corruption. There you I, go. Yeah. I'm going to move this corruption here. Maybe you like moving corruption. I you want it. a corruption. And I think I'm going to do the same as you. I think I'm going to corrupt that agenda slot because I don't. Not I don't, don't need it at it the moment. I don't need it at the moment. Safe. Right, and then at the end of my turn, I must find a home for this trade token. And if we just have a look at my board, you will notice that this agenda has two upkeep icons on it. That means that I'm going to have to pay two upkeep, but trade tokens cover it over, which means I don't have to pay the upkeep. And that is it. That is my first turn done, and I'm exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> Only three hours to go. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> we will be here a while. It's all good. You're explaining it as we go. Yeah. So it makes sense. Um, very quick question about yeah. my ability as House Nervo. Was it that at any time I can convert resources from materials to food or energy? Ooh. Or is it when I spend or them? Or is it spend them? Yeah. That... Let's have a look. So House Nervo, You've got, you got this is the game. Find the answer before the designer tells us the answer. Before, Nigel, um, before Nigel tells us the tells answer. Us. No pressure, Nigel. It is House Nervo. Because that will influence why um, guilds I put down. Any time, except when satisfying upkeep, you may spend material spend. instead of sp instead of spend. Yeah. So, so it's not converting one to another. No, it's when you spend, you may spend. Did we, did we, we meet him? No, you tied. Tied. That's a tie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but he was succinct. Okay. Right. Um, and it's exactly the same with this. Yeah. So I said earlier on that this was converting energy to to science. It's, it's not. It's when you spend. It's when you, you can spend energy as if it was science or vice, vice versa. versa. You yeah. can't just convert it on mm -hmm. your thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. can't do it when I want just to make sure I've got enough for upkeep. Yeah. Because that will circumnavigate that. Anyway, my game. Are oh, you doing the politics card? No, I'm not. I'm going to do something, something different, different to you guys. Okay. Just for the audience. Um, no, actually, because it makes sense. So I'm doing development. And one of the reasons why I'm doing development is because I have a robotics um, tech and that triggers off the development focus card. Yeah. So in addition to us each having our own house special ability, we each start the game with a tech card. Yep. And JP's tech card is, yeah, robotics, which basically 
means that you get a boost on the development card. Yeah, I get to, uh, on one of the actions, one of the focus actions on development, I may double the cost and double the effect. Nice. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay. So the first action I'm going to do to double is grow. And I'm going to spend two materials rather than one. One of them is going to put a shipyard out into this sector here. Mm -hmm. And then to do it again, I'm going to put a, a guild out. And I'm going to put a miner's guild. The reason why I'm going heavy on materials is because of my special ability, because I can spend materials, materials as, as if they were food, food or, or energy. energy. So having lots of those is good. So your um, materials production has just gone up by two, yeah, which so is the population of the sector. That's on six production, which is producing four. But um, So that's the, the boosted grow action. The second one I'm going to do is the settle. And so it's recall... Recall. One fleet power yep. from a sector yep. to add a guild and or an installation to that sector. Yeah. So I'm going to do food. Oh, food go. production goes up by two. Yeah, because I need a bit of a bit of everything. But okay, yeah. I was going to say if you can use materials as food and energy, why wouldn't you just produce materials? It's because upkeep. It's, so it's reason any, why an upkeep has to be. Yeah. Yeah. It's a better conversion because it's one to one. So you do need a bit here. of food production. Need a bit. Yeah, probably don't need to get loads. I've not got bit. any. I'm not producing. I've got seven food, but I'm not producing yeah. any food yet. But I'm also putting a sector defense in that same system as well. Okay. Because you think we're going to get there? Ah, uh, the, the, the void bomb might attack us. Void bomb might. Yeah. Keeps, it keeps. They might just come in and say. Keeps intruders at bay, you know? Um, and that is me. But you're not very corrupted. No, I'm not impressed. No. <laughs> I don't like it. Corruption. I'm rules. virtuous. Right. Uh, you didn't Stephen. get a trade token. You didn't play. No. It. Right. So Stephen, now it might be slightly different because Stephen has an agenda card in hand. I do. So if you wanted to play that agenda card, you play it at the start of your turn in phase B. Yep. I won't. <laughs> Matthias is asking what the green and red dice. So each player has their own coloured dice. For their own home sector. So I'm the purple player. So my dice is purple. Stephen's yellow. Green. JP's green. So yes, your your home sector has your own coloured dice. I think what I am going to do is some development, which doesn't match my agenda card. So you're not playing the agenda so card. Not playing the agenda card. I am going to lose one material in order to put out a guild a or an installation. Guild or an installation. It's going to be a guild. The guild it will be is, I think, so I've got a lot of upkeep around me. I think it's going to be food. I have a food guild, please. You may. There you go. So that's going to go there, which gives me another two bumps. Yep, population two in your home sector, so you produce two more food. But it increases your upkeep. Okay. It does increase my upkeep, which is why I have food. But I have cybernetics. So when I place a guild, ah. I gain... You immediately gain two, two of, of that, that resource. resource. Nice. That's, so that's your technology. That's my technology. Okay. Uh, and then I am going to spend a science in order to put some corruption aside. Oh, you're getting rid of corruption. Yeah. So I, I want it back. That? Yeah, you want to keep getting it and getting rid of it. Oh, that's the harmonise action. Yeah. There's one science. Yep. Yeah. To remove to corruption. remove a corruption, which yeah. I've done. I'd like it back. Nice. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. you get a bonus every time you, you gain corruption. Every time I gain corruption, I produce. Did you do that last turn? I no, because it was move. Oh, you moved it. You I didn't yeah. gain it. it. Yeah. Yeah. It was already there. It was already there. It just wasn't at home. No. Okay. <laughs> so my second turn. I mean, I, I was really happy about my first turn. I was a cracking first but turn. But now I'm looking at my options and I'm like, well, I've only got one shipyard. <laughs> so I can't do that. I can't recall because of my tactical transports are really great, but I can't lose either of these two. Yeah. So I'm not actually sure what I want to be doing. Um, I mean, I could... No, I can't. 
I can't really be attacking anybody again because there's there's one Voidborn fleet there. Now, question. Mm. One destroyer versus one corvette. What's the question? I would win. Yeah, destroyer would have because if we points. look over at here, if there's one destroyer versus one corvette, nothing happens in the approach step. Yeah. But then in the salvo step, the corvette has one initiative. Two. The destroyer has two initiative. So it's one per destroyer plus one. Which means I'd fire first. And you'll kill it. And I would kill it. Yeah. Let's go. So I could, if I wanted to, Where is your go on another attack. Is this your destroyer? My destroyer here? is here. It's a long way away. So my conquest, and I think yours is the same, I can do a regroup yeah. and then an attack. Yeah. So I could regroup, move that to there, and then go in. I am going it's not the same as mine, heavily on the offensive. Can right you and your expansionism? Well, you've gone destroyers. I think you have to go expansion. <laughs> What they're for? Um, they're out of the void, board. Get that, get rid of them. Yeah, actually. Oh, I've just noticed. Oh, this is even better. <laughs> oh, this is great. <laughs> I'm getting quite excited now. Um, yeah, home sector often has no fleet power. Yeah. Go on then. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to play conquest. Do it now. The first thing I think I'm going to do is. I am going to do the the engage. I'm going to do my Jean-Luc Picard impression. I'm going to spend so. all of my remaining energy. I now have no energy. Oh, but tactical transports. So this is my tech card. Whenever I play the conquest card, I may decrease the population in a pure non-home sector. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to decrease the population here down to three which means my material production drops to three in order to activate a fleet power and deploy one into the same sector. Oh, and, oh, hello. That can be a destroyer. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a Corvette. In fact, I'm, I'm never going to be building Corvettes again, am I? Nah. So I, actually what I've done is I've used my tactical transports and I've converted that population into a destroyer. So I don't actually need now to bring that to there. So what I'm going to do is I am going to do the regrouping and I'm just going to move that to there. Are you limited with the amount of fleet? Um, Two tokens per sector. Uh, in terms of destroyers, meant? are they limited? No. Like, like dreadnoughts where no. you can't have loads? No. Okay. So I, whenever I deploy, yeah. I can now build destroyers. It doesn't, okay. doesn't cost any extra. Yeah, there's no downsides really then, is no. there? No. So, right. So we've done the regrouping. I've done my tactical transports. I think I got that right. Somebody will tell us if I'm if I'm wrong. Um, oh, yeah. Nigel is saying that Yarvek... Oh, so my conquest card is better than yours. Oh, all right. That's <laughs> well, better than yours. Um, if you have a look at your conquest card... Apparently, I can regroup and invade. Oh, it's all. Whereas you two weird. can't. So you do that or that. No, yeah. we either or. Yeah, got yeah. it. So, yeah. Oh, no, in fact, mine's either or. Stop. Oh, sorry, I'm Stop cheating. Stop messing about. I'm sorry, I'm cheating. Yeah, no. Yes. No, I can't do it. It Stop. is It is either or. So, basically, that doesn't go there. Apologies for that. But it's all, it's all right because of my tactical transport gave me the destroyer here. Which is what I needed. Yeah, so apologies for that. I thought I had a special card then for a minute, but no. If we look at the conquest card, it is invade or regroup. I was cheating, I was doing both. It's your bottom bit that's different. That's my bottom my, my bottom bit is is different. Yeah, you, you have more options on yeah. and Okay. Yeah, so we're all we're all good. I was I was almost cheating, but then I didn't. So I'm not regrouping, <laughs> I'm invading, but because of my tactical transports, I built a destroyer here. And the invade moves that into there. You, you wouldn't catch me accidentally cheating, Paul. No, no, no. Uh, ne never would have happened. Never would have happened. And there's, no evidence, there's no evidence of that no. online anywhere whatsoever. It's been deleted. Um, so we do the combat. Yeah. Now, we've already worked out exactly how this combat will work. And that's the thing with deterministic combat. You know exactly what's going to happen before you go in there, and you should work it out first. 
So there is no approach step because there's no sector defenses or anything like that. And then we go to the salvo step. I have two initiative. They have one, which means I deal one yeah. damage. They're gone. That's it. Uh, I gain the glory token and I gain five influence. And that is now my sector. Nice. But that's it. There's nothing in there, but it is mine. That's the main thing. So that was the conquest action. The yeah. next thing is I'm going to do the rally action. So I'm going to spend this bounty token. And I'm going to take... Oh, and I need to spend a credit as well. I've got no credits. I think I might have extended myself a bit too much. You'll be fine. I get to take an agenda. <laughs> now, I don't want to take the bottom agenda because that's corrupted. Um, but I need to look at what card I'm probably going to play next. Which is likely... Paul isn't called the Knight of the Sacred Mulligan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's me. No, we've I, all done it. I, I need to build shipyards, so I'm probably going to develop next. So, yeah. which of those agendas triggers develop? This one. And I've just noticed that is for having three or more glory tokens. So, I'm going to take that one. Yeah, I'm going to take kind of going to so, so Nigel apologized. Okay, yeah. no problem, Nigel. Self-sustaining campaign. I've taken that, put that in my hand. Again, I could have taken two from the top of the deck, chosen one, put the other on the bottom, if I wanted to. Yeah. We're all well, good. Well for you. We're all good. JP, your second turn. Yeah. Another question. On yep. the galactic event, the bottom uh, scoring benefit uh, was what? It five... is, if you have five or more pure guilds, pure guild. you get an agenda. Perfect. Okay. I think we're there. That's good. Okay. Fine. I'm going to do my special production. This is my House Nervo special production card. Now, which one do I want to go first? I don't think it really matters. So let's go. So what's different about right. your production card? What is different? I don't know. The top one is different. Uh, yes. The uh, middle one's different. Yeah. My and production the is different. split. Rather right. Than, whereas I think on the standard production, you do all three core mm. resources, don't you? In one go. Yeah. Yeah. So it's but your things. production card allows you to move up any of your civilization tracks. Yeah, which is pretty nice. Um, so I'm spending one material to do the thrive. It's going to move there. And I can then increase population in a pure sector. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be this one. Okay. So that increases your materials production by two, two. and your food production by one. Four. You're, you're producing a lot of materials. Yeah. When the production value is eight... Eight, but it's five. It's actually five. The yield's five. The yield yeah. is five, yeah. Yeah, so that's that one done. That's Thrive. And then I'm going to do uh, Industrialize. So that moves this one here. Which is to deploy a guild. This deploy a guild. Now which... Oh, and that's free as well. It's, yeah, just bang. Now, which guild? That's the question. And then you produce materials. Go energy, just energy. Have a little bit of, bit of this, bit of that. Okay, and now you're producing... Five materials. And I'm going to produce five materials. Okay. Top myself back up. That's me. Okay. Right. We caught my guild. <laughs> <laughs> Trade tokens, agendas, any of that stuff? No, no I wish. David. Happy. Right. I am going to introduce... Chris is warning me that I need to be careful about the skirmish coming up. <clears throat> yes. Don't worry, I've got a plan. Don't worry about that. It's all good. I don't have a plan. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to do some temptation. Which, um, Heaven 17 was it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> it allows me to use my innovation card because I have, yeah, you can do one action, yeah, from one of your preferred focus cards, sure. And even if that focus card is in your discard pile, that is going to, I'm going to activate taking a technology, yep. So you can either have a basic one or an improved one. It's going to be a so basic one. Have an improved one. It's going to yeah. be it's this one. Purifiers. I'm going to go purifying. So you gain four influence for taking it. And you immediately may spend one science to remove a corruption. I'm going to spend one science. Oh, look at you. You're all yeah. clean. To remove a corruption. He really wants that bonus at the end of the round, don't you? What's, what is that? Having no... Uh, no corrupted agendas. Corrupted uh, agenda. No, it, you've got to have... A non-starting agenda, non -starting oh, well, agenda that's that what isn't is. corrupted. That's, yeah, yeah. So you're good anyway. Planned. Okay. 
Uh, and then second action is going to be take that corruption back. Oh, right, okay. And I didn't last long, did it? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have a shower. Be gone. And then I'm going to jump in a, a pile Come of mud. <laughs> which allows me to activate and deploy. Yeah, but any, any action where you take corruption is really powerful. So, so I'm going to produced. deploy. There's a, there's a story. That there. one there. May I have another yep. Corvette machine, please? Thank you. Because I've got two shipyards here. So you're. Oh, yeah, deploying one for every, every shipyard. Every ship no, 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 that's just deploy one so into your home one. sector. Sure. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, the uh, reinforcements is per shipyard. Just yeah. leave that there for the moment. Um, lovely. And then. Produce two. Produce two different ones. Yeah. Well, I'm going to produce, you choose three. I'm going to produce three because I've taken corruption. Mm -hmm. So that allows me to produce. Oh, whenever you take corruption, you I produce. produce. And then I get to... So you do that now. Do the, do the first production now. Let's do the first production now then. I think I'd love some minerals. Can I have some of your mineral production? Nope. Uh, <laughs> I think it's going Else to be... Does not share. And then I get and to produce then two... Two things that are not the same, but ones. one of those could be science. Could be science, yeah. Are you producing science? Oh, you've got a I, scientist skill. I am producing oh, science. Right, yeah. yeah. So I think we are going to produce some energy which is two and I think it will be science again for another two okay and then in the future when I play my temptation card I can do this yeah because you away. now have a technology that whenever you play your temptation card you can spend a science to purify yourself yes nice done thank you nice right what was it doing? Uh, you were withdrawing, I think. I think so. Yeah. I was considering playing. So I do have. Oh, yeah, I do have a science. But I don't. Re I mean, ugh. settling seems really weird if I was to settle my home system. So I probably don't want to do that. How badly do you want an engine? <laughs> I suppose. Well, I, I can't. I can't settle and get rid of that because no, then the sector you, becomes abandoned and I lose it. So yeah. that's the downsides of having spread don't, too I don't, thin. Yeah, mm. yeah, being spread too thinly. Mm -hmm. um, but it's okay. I think it's okay. What I'm going to do is I am going to play my development card and I'm going to play an agenda. So we talked about agendas earlier. This is the agenda card that I picked up. This is in my hand, and. At the start of your turn, when you choose which focus card you want to play, you may also play an agenda with it. But if you do, if you to play this agenda, I have to have played either that card or that card. I have. I've played the development card, which means I am also allowed to play this agenda. Now, the advantage of playing an agenda is it's also got an action on it. And I get to do that action at some point when I am doing my actions, either before these, in the middle of, or after them. And then at the end of my turn, I could discard the agenda and just throw it away, but I don't want to do that. I'm going to tuck it under my board, and that is going to give me more scoring opportunities. But for now, I'm playing the card, I'm playing the agenda. Right, actions. I'm going to do the first action, which is to grow. I'm going to spend one material, and I'm going to establish a guild or an installation. It's going to have to be an installation because I only have one shipyard and that's not enough. So I'm going to build a shipyard here. I am then going to harmonize, harmonize by spending one science. So I can either increase the population of a pure sector or remove a corruption. So I'm going to... I want to do both of those things. <laughs> I'm looking at my agenda and I'm going to put that back up to four because I, I score for having sectors with four or more population. So that increases my minerals production back to four. Okay. And then I get to do my special one, which is uh, deploy a guild and produce it and produce with that guild. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you got a juicy four well, population. Well, I've got here, a juicy four population here. 
oh, this is where choices are important. Oh, yeah. What do you really need? <laughs> well, I don't need food this turn, but I know I will later. Mm. I know I need energy because I'm very much conquesty. Because you spent a lot moving and things And I've, got, I've currently got yeah. no energy. But then again, credits can be spent as energy as if they were food, energy yep. or materials, but not in upkeep. No. And I have no credits and I'm not producing any credits. And some actions need credits specifically. Could I have a banker's guild, please? Decision made. Decision made. Banker's right. guild. I've got a guild of go. bankers, which goes here. And then I immediately I produce. Oh, so that puts my credit production up. Um, and I now produce two, two credits. Yeah, because the credit scale is different from the other scales. Yeah. Because it's not a linear scale. No. Production value and yield are different. Anyway, I now have two credits. That's my turn done. So at the end of my turn, I could discard this, but I'm not going to. I'm going to tuck it under there. And that has given me what more scoring. Oh, look. For every three credits I get, I get, oh, okay. So I need more credits. <laughs> That's the right decision. That's me done. Mm -hmm. You'll go. Me. This is your third turn, isn't it? It's my third turn. Why and by? We're nearly mm. through cycle one already. Reinforcements. We need some reinforcements. I'm about to uh, go scrapping. So. I'm going to do accelerate, which means I need to deactivate a fleet power. I'm going to move a civilization track up. I'm actually going to move this one, which now puts me in tier one, and which is good for many reasons. And I'll get a trade token, please. Can I have a trade token, sir? Now I can get a benefit. Two food materials or energy. A bounty mm -hmm. token. Materials or one science. I mean, <laughs> I am getting a lot of upkeep, though. That's what I'm keeping my eye Bit on. Bit of food. Um, so it's between food and materials. What am I going to be spending on soon? That's fine. Let's go food. Mm -hmm. So I don't have to worry about that. For the moment. Okay, so that's the trade token that sits off to the side. And I also get a sector defence. Oh, I don't know if I really want this, but... I kind of do for scoring, so I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to do muster. So muster is spend two materials to take the two fleet power I do have, put one there and here. So now I'm shored up for some, some fist, fisty, cuffs. fisty cuffs at some point. So that is me. Done. Are you done? That goes and covers that. Turn four. I was just getting ahead of myself, so I am going to now get ships out here. I am going to play my special Your special reinforcement, reinforcement card. card, which is going to activate that agenda. Okay, so you just play it alongside your, because it's got the action on it. So you can do that as yep. well at some point this turn. I'm going to use credits. Nice, stuff. okay. So we will do something like this. So we're going to spend one food, uh, one energy, one material, materials. which is getting very low. To uh, activate a fleet power activate a fleet and remove, remove a corruption from your transport. And then we will one energy, one materials to deploy one fleet power everywhere where you Ooh. or where you have a shipyard. So every shipyard produces a ship. So now I will have that one. You've got five Corvette fleets there. Yes. All done? Yes, I do. Yes. So <laughs> I mean, I'm in a little bit of trouble because I've got two corruption here. So when the Voidborn attack me, they're going to attack with two. That plus one initiative bonus for destroyers is only on attack. It's only on invading, yeah, not defending. That's where they're weak. So... What does it go down here now? Uh, you can then either discard it or you can tuck it. Oh, we're going to tuck it. Yeah, or you can replace a previous one want it so i need to do two things i need to have a sector defense in each of these or put three fleets in each that's going to be tricky that's going to be very tricky they try to warn you they did they did try to warn me they were telling me i didn't listen didn't listen i but just wanted to conquer it's great 
It's great demonstration. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is how you lose. Well, that. I'm going to play a reinforcement <laughs> card. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to accelerate. I'm going to move that to there. Yeah. Get some defense in. Got choices. <laughs> I can advance on any of my civilization tracks. I want that. One. Yeah, that's the one that would I help need... you. But What's I could the take one? Reclaim. Two tokens. A reclaim could give you a installation, couldn't it? It could. Because the reclaims are the guilds or installations? It could. But it's in my home. Ah, okay. It's a reclaim token in my home sector. So it's likely to be guild related. Okay. It's Not either me. that or I take two bounty tokens. Which is just going to be resources. Which is just probably going to be resources. But those resources might actually help me. Resources are influence usually, isn't it? So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to advance oh. on... Sorry. I did that, but I didn't do that. Yeah, what would you like? Oh, you've so? got an action that you didn't I have do. an action that I didn't do. just need an installation, do. do I just need an installation. I'll and take a... it was activate a fleet power as well? I did the fleet power. Oh, you That's did how the I got power. these two here, right. but I okay. forgot to put the installation in. Sector defence uh, or ship? I'll, I'll take a sector defence, please. Thank you. Dallas is asking, did I get the four influence for the technology that I added? I think so. What are you on? Well, I'm on 23. Likely, So then. I started on 10. I gained four for that. 14. Still on 10. Oof. Uh, oh, eight, 18... Again. 23. Like before. Yeah, so I think I'm on I think I'm on 23. Um yeah, so now is I've got one action left after this. Yeah. Mm. So if I away. did Oh, but that's take corruption. Mm. Don't want to be taking corruption. Um am I able to move that up any further? <sighs> No. Okay. So. I think what I need to do. I mean, I, one of my options is to abandon the sector. You lose glory, though, don't you? Do I? I yeah, I think I do. I think I lose a token, but that's not too bad. It's only a one. Anyway, I'm when, going to move. When he loses by one, then it'll be. I'm, I'm going to move back to that. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get. I'm going to get two bounty. <laughs> two bounty tokens. Okay. So, two materials or an influence. I'll have two materials. Uh, one science or one influence. I'll have the science. I think early game resources, isn't it? I think so. I think so. Yeah. Okay, so I've done that, I've done that, and I deploy a sector defence. Right, can I have a sector defence, please? Yeah. So, the problem is I don't know where they're going to attack. They're going to attack the place where they will um, cause the most damage. Cause the most hurt. So yeah. they could actually be attacking here, so I probably need to defend this more than the other places. Which so that's, yeah, that's the top bit. Because that's definitely got more population. And yeah, the population is the tiebreaker, isn't it? Yeah. And then, if I do the bottom one... Yeah. I can move things around. Mm -hmm. Which means that would be safe. Yeah. Can you leave? I can leave my home sector. Yeah. You are not allowed to abandon a sector with a regroup action. So you can only abandon as part of an invasion. Yes. Okay. So, so, you, so, you so I, I cannot now do that Yeah. as part of the regroup action. Just because it's got this in, if you move that, I, I, I lose it. Right yeah. Here. Um, but you can move your home sector destroyer. So I think into I'm going to do that. I'm going to spend an energy. I don't have an energy, so I'm going to spend the credits yeah. as if it was energy. And regroup your destroyer from home to that sector. Where are you thinking? To. Well, it depends because you can leave this one, can't you? I can leave this one. So that can go anywhere. If I put it there, then an attack of two in here, I'm safe. Yeah. Because they come in. One dies from the sector defence. I win the initiative. I kill the other one. Yeah. So that's no there. damage. Here, I'm not safe. No. And here, I'm not safe. No. Now, let's just look up the tie breaks. Because <laughs> when the Voidborn attack you, there is a series of tie breaks to determine where they are going to attack. Um, and it is... Somewhere in here. Here we go. Right. So, where they will win or achieve a tie, 
If there are multiple targets, it prefers a target where you would be forced to recall the most fleet power. There's one there, there's one there. Next tiebreakers, pure if possible. So they will go for this one, one over, over one. this one. Mm -hmm. And then the next tiebreaker is the highest population. The next one is the most guilds. And then the next one is random. So there so, is a random element in the game. So they're just... We found the random the, element. The one the random element, which is uh, that one. So at the moment, they're going to be attacking this, that one. This is priority for them. And they are going to be beating it. Yeah. Now, as well as this mobilize action, as well as moving that to there, yeah. I can deploy a sector defense. You can. So if I can, if I can have a sector defense in there... They're still beating me. They'll eliminate you. And because they come in with two. Mm -hmm. Reduce to one. Reduce, Reduce one. to one for the safety defense. You're the one and one, we tie. We both kill each other. Same initiative. It's abandoned. So. I just need to plan what I'm going to do. Your last action. Right. I know what I'm going to do as my next action. It's going to be that. Which means actually, I'm going to move that to there. Happy? Because if I remove this corruption, I'm getting attacked by a fleet power of one. Yep. Then you're good. And I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do it. Thank God it's not cycle two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, have I done my reinforcement card? I did that, did that, did that, did that, done. Right. Is your brain hurting yet, Paul? Yes. Good. Right. <laughs> I'm going to spend my special uplift card, which replaces Conquest. This is my... Oh, your special This one. is my own tasty, tasty uplift card. So... Is it like helping somebody... Yeah, I'm going to basically build people up. Into Steve, a window. Stephen, you're doing it's, really well. It's a, um, <laughs> it's a science fiction book series, Uplift, is it? David Brin. Okay. Yeah. It's about uplifting races and making them slaves. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. That's not where I thought you were going. <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to do is analyse, and I'm going to spend a credit, and I'm going to take an agenda. And I don't like this one, so I'm going to take two. Okay, so here. you take two off the top of the deck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do I want to say that? I'll just check the icon. Yes, I do. So two of the deck. And hopefully these, or one of these, is great. Hopefully one of these is great. Oh. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, the Dark Tater says that his 51st play of the game will be in the physical game, so he's played it 50 times on TTS. It, wow. Yeah, probably laughing at our strategic choices. Here. Yeah, okay. What are you doing? <laughs> Silly people. Right, okay. I uh, 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 that one, that one, I think that one. Nigel was about to suggest something. Was he? Using your trade token. Oh yeah, no, I've got I've got he's, sorry, he's got to, do, to do all three actions. I'm, I'm banking on something else with that. Um yeah, could I? Because I could. No. No. I'll keep it. Even though Nigel knows best, I'm sure. You do what you want to do, yeah, John, and ignore it, the it, I've ignore already the got rabble. a plan for it. I've already <laughs> got a plan for it. Anyway, so analyse, get my agenda. Next action is Bombard. So Bombard is... So uh, what is this, Dave? It's an invade. It's an invasion, but you can spend three materials. Which I am. One, two, three, to get a uh, approach absorption or salvo absorption. So I am going to do that, spend them, to get an approach absorption of which... Um, ah, stay there. I'm going to go in here. Take all of these in. So you're invading with four corvettes. Yeah. And have you spent the three materials? I have spent the three materials. So I'm absorbing... One of these sector defences, of yep. which that's that. The other one will die. And then three. you win. I win! Hurrah! And what do I get? Some juicy... Yeah, all sorts of stuff. So I get two food. Ooh, wrong way. And two credits. Two credits. You get either Trade Nexus or... <gasps> What's the other one? Autonomous Drones. Mm. Of course, the uh, ever... Amazing slot for the mech. 
There we go. Right. You also get that glory token. Oh, yeah, I get that. And I get. Three and you score three influence. Hooray, I'm off the board. Yay. <laughs> Two, three. Right, tech. Tech. Trade Nexus. I know what it does, but it also gives me food and a trade token. That might be why he said spend the trade token. Because I'm literally going to get another one. But that's fine. That's fine. I'll take the trade nexus and then okay. I have to so give... you get four influence. Yeah. And you immediately get two food. Let's do that. And you get a trade token. Now, you're going to have to lose that trade token yeah. at the end of your turn. Yeah. Because you don't have anywhere to put Does it. Does that then trigger the trade nexus? Which means I get the bonus for putting it back. I think so. That's kind of why I did it as well. Okay, oh, I think oh. so. Two, three, four. Yeah, you're returning it to the Galactic board, so I think the Trade Nexus... And you can have it back. That's it. Is it the end of your turn? Uh, that will be. Did you get the bonus for taking it? I did not get the bonus which for of, taking Which it. of those three oh, bonuses do you want oh, for taking it? Oh, God, so many choices, isn't there? Um... Hmm... Well, I'm going to get this twice, essentially, aren't I? And then you're going to get something for putting it yeah, back. Yeah, so I'll get, I'll get a science. I'm going to so need you're a going bit to get of that. science and for taking I it. I will take some more materials. More materials for putting it back. Okay. Because I am stocked with food. I'm, I'm good. I, we can feed the masses right now. Um, and we'll keep that there. And it should all be good. Right. So the last Probably turn... Probably should have spent it. Nigel was right. Last turn of cycle. <laughs> yeah, I am going to go with my... Special progress, which is going to spend two of these lovelies, my energy, getting a bit tight now, and one science. I am going to not regroup, but I'm going to invade, invade a corrupt, corrupt sector. sector. So I'm going to invade here. Yep. I'm going to invade with these. All of them? Yeah. Why not? Because I'm going to lose these two. You're going to lose those two because of the sector defences. Yeah. So what do they go back They here? go there, yeah. Yeah. Do that there. Remember, this goes on him. And that's it. Happily. And you take it. Uh, so I take this. Ask Don Lock is yours. So I immediately place an engineering. Uh, engineering, engineering guild in that sector. In that sector. Which, which increases me, your production by three. three. Yeah. And also gives me two of those. Because of your because of, your, because of my house ability. House ability. Yeah. You get the glory token. I get the glory token. And you gain three. Is that? That's so it. You're gonna need you the tech. three influence. Um, don't oh, forget the tech, the tech as well. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I flipped over. Ready for your. I do tech need the tech. Yes. Energy cells or orbital docks. Uh, let's get some um, points for us. Three points. Three points plus another four for the tech that you're about to get. I don't think so. Oh, or maybe I will. Energy cells or orbital docks. Yeah, you'll get four. Both are worth four. But I don't... Because I'm not looking, actually, to do destroyers, I think. Because that's the only way that's going to activate, isn't it? Um, it's just if you're the defender, it's sector, regardless. It's, they're good for sector defences. Oh, they good they for make sector your defenses. sector defences better. Right. That's all they do. And also, unless you've got improved destroyers, but then I get to do this is lose that to gain yeah. that. Oh, yeah, if you so deal one, yeah, I particularly want to do that. Or you and could the other just one is take orbital docks and I'll get... take orbital docks. So you get your four influence, which allows me to put out a shipyard, put out a shipyard, and activate a fleet power. So that puts me up to 20. Ah, oh, Mr. One David T's just popped in. Hello, David T. He's busy doing life stuff, life admin, life admin. <laughs> uh, so I get a shipyard. <laughs> I'm assuming it doesn't go anywhere you like. It's it? anywhere you like. Oh, there you go. You choose. Yeah, I think. You choose. Probably here. We can go that way. Going for this, are you? I think. Yeah. And then activate one yeah. fellow there. One action. Then I think I'm going to take another technology. So you take a corruption. I will take a corruption. Which fortunately for me means I gain production, which nice. is going to be this nice <laughs> energy, which has just been increased. So that's going to seven. Uh, 
uh, and I'm going to take Trade Nexus because you could take an improved one with with that icon. It is improved or basic. This one, mm -hmm. but I'm not. Oh, you can't. Have I'm not past here yet. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You did one one off. Yeah. So I'm going to get two boots. Two boots. <laughs> and so take a trade token. Trade token. What would you like for that trade token? That trade token, I think, may as well be. What are these any good for anything whilst they're here? Uh, agenda. They're good for me. And scoring some agendas. Some agendas will score based on the bounty tokens that you've collected. Yeah, like I, I had an agenda that said for every two you get um, so many influence. And uh, yeah, really I helped. think because I have no material production, I am going to take two material. You take two materials, okay? Yeah. And at the end of your turn, there. you put that trade token that you just gained. Yep, yeah. there. So it's like one over a turn of trade tokens. Yeah, it? yeah. Oh, are you? Wow, four techs. Yeah, four techs at the end of cycle how, one. How, how have you got four <clears> techs? <text? throat> fallen so... house. We all got a fallen house. Fallen house. Me? I managed to get this one as well. And then I've just done that one. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Amazing. My last action for cycle one. I'm just jealous. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> I'm just jealous. <laughs> I am choosing the production <laughs> action, and the first thing I'm going to do is optimize. I spend one food, one energy. I don't have an energy, so I spend a credit um, to remove a corruption. Breathe a sigh of relief. <laughs> um, you are safe. And I can regroup. But I'm not going to regroup because I if I do, so. then I'm going to get attacked and get killed. Um, now, I could also thrive, or I could do this. I'm going to thrive. So I'm going to move this marker to here, which means I get to add a reclaim token to my home sector. What does that do for you? Whatever it says. Oh, it's, 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 it's for influence. Yeah, OK. But it's a reclaim token, which are good for me, because I can do Spend things them as with a third them. action, right. can't you? Oh, so good. That's such a good ability. Quickest turn ever. Are you done? Done. I wasn't even ready Shocking. for it. I don't know what wasn't even ready for Did it. that, moved that, got yeah. that, did that, spent that, did that, done. Right, I am actually going to be spending my trade token this time. And I'm going to be playing an agenda. Guys, it's going to be a fun turn, isn't it? So you've spent your trade token, so you're going to do all three actions on your focus card. I am. And you're playing an agenda, yeah. which means you've got yeah. four actions to do this turn. I might have a lie down. Where shall I start? And I can do these in any order, right? Yeah. Right, let's just start with the simple ones. I am going to experiment and i'm going to put a guild a science guild on there let's get on a little bit of science that's that one done i am going to then uh, paul is saying that you need to place the fallen house card next to your player board as an extra tech space i just done you it. have yeah right, okay. I, I left it down here yeah i thank you paul i'm going to restore so put one of those back in there so you really... recall the fleet power to remove the corruption I'm going to do a technology, spend two science, one, two, and I'm going to put my improved robotics. Ah, so let me just explain how improved technologies work. And I'm going to show you my player board uh, because you'll notice that we have these icons here. There's one there and there's one there. These are thresholds and the position of your civilization track markers indicate how many improved technologies you can have. So right now, none of my markers have crossed this, which means I am not allowed to have any improved technologies at all if this was to move to here i am now allowed to have one improved technology jp's marker is already over that first threshold which means you are allowed to have an improved technology now each player starts the game with an improved version of the technology that they started with and in fact in cycle one of the game that's the only one you can take because the other improved technologies which are on the galactic board in cycle one they are blocked yeah. So you cannot take any of these in cycle one of the game, but this is about to be removed, and these will be the four that are available in cycle two. Right. So what does your improved version of robotics do? So it's very similar to the other one, where it allows me to double the cost and effect of development, but also my preferred focus as well, which are these two cards. Oh, so, right. So whatever they are. So when you play any Prosperity one of those three cards... or production politics production so prosperity production 
or and develop, development, I can you do can the, double the effects of one of the, one of the actions. Nice. So I just thought, let's get that early. Okay. Hopefully it gives me some uh, things to do. Right, so that's the those three done. Then I can do this action, which is lowest track up. Yep. Or get another trade token. God. Um, I think I'm going to do the lowest track up, which allows me to have you, seen, have you seen where the trade tokens are? Just saying. Oh, hello. Yeah. We've, we've now moved up to... No, you haven't yet. Oh, no. Give me more choices. It is more choice. I'm safe from the boy, uh, boy born skirmish. So I'm going to get in the tower one. That would absolutely just eradicate them and get me prepared. But no, I think I will go for the trade token. So you take a trade token? Yeah. And what would you like? I Which think of those I like science because it's just difficult to get. <laughs> Let's do that. And at the end of my turn... That's going to go on there and, and that's going to go it's back. going to go back. So I can go back on top at the same place. Yep. And I'll get some more sides. Nice. <laughs> right. Yeah, you're as technologically advanced. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Are we all done? I enjoyed that. Oh, I am going to socket this. So let's go. Uh, yes, we are. OK, so we go to phase C. The first thing that happens in phase C is we work out if when and how we are each getting attacked so so the yeah, so we we work out where so they were going to be attacking you with a fleet power of one yep is there and and they attack from anywhere where adjacent so to where here, they're avoidable so here, your two potential here. targets are here yeah and is there anywhere that it could win or get a tie lose one dead i'm coming in so dead and come in with one so it can't win or tie anywhere no so it still will attack, but it wants to inflict the most damage possible, which is here, because you don't have any sector defences. No. So they're going to be coming in here yes. with a fleet power of one. Yes. So what we'll do is we'll just put put a little one on there, but we don't resolve them yet. We we each work out where the attack is That's coming in from. That's just where it's going to happen. Yeah. Uh, I'm getting attacked by a fleet power of one. Um, there's a sector defence here, so they wouldn't do anything there. There is a sector defense here, so they wouldn't do anything here. So mine are coming in here. JP, you're getting attacked by a fleet power of one. one. And that's going to be coming in here. Because, because there are sector defenses defense. here, so they're coming in mm -hmm. here. Okay, once we've determined that, we each now resolve our battles. So Stephen, there are no sector defenses. So uh, I win the initiative. Oh, yep. you win the initiative. Yes, yeah, so they don't, yep. they, don't, they don't actually deal any damage. No. So I shoot them down. Yep. Yeah, I'd, I forgot about that. Yeah. yeah, I thought I was going to lose a Corvette, but I'm not. No. So same initiative. here. I've got two initiative. They've got one. Bang. So that dies. Same with that. And exactly the same there. So um, the Voidborn skirmish is something that you need to be aware of and you need to plan for and you need to, yeah, not let it get to you. Because otherwise, if I hadn't have done what I did, I would have lost a sector lost some glory, the sector would have become abandoned. It would have been put back, wouldn't you? All it, that expansion it, work you did was for nothing. Well, in fact, if it becomes abandoned, then what happens is the void boom go back in with a bounty token. Okay, so... I then go back in, take the bounty token. Yeah. Yeah, I don't get... You also score the glory, so you score glory every time you have a successful attack, mm. even if you don't take another glory token. There might be a strategy in there So, somewhere. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, the next thing we do is we pay upkeep. Yep. So we work out how our upkeep is. Stephen, you have one upkeep for your home sector. Yes. You have one upkeep because of that guild. So yes. That's two. But I've nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing, nothing there. there. So I've covered two. both of these. So your upkeep is two. Two. That it. Two, two food. Two food. Or four of the stuff. Uh, mine is two. Two. Yep. No upkeep anywhere else. Nope. So mine's just two. I will spend two food. I've gone super heavy on just. Going for everything. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. Five upkeep. Yeah. Have you got five food? Oh, eight food. Oh, nice. Yeah. Upkeep has been done. If you didn't have the food, you could pay materials and energy, but it's twice as expensive. Yeah. And you must pay it if you can. And if you can't, you lose three influence for every one that you can't pay for. Right. Now we do the galactic event. So each player may choose either the top or the bottom one. Uh, Dallas is asking, why did the Void Ball Corvette not attack simultaneously with the player with the Corvettes? Because he had two. Because I had two in any So one. Green had two Corvettes. Two Corvettes means initiative two. I strike first. Which means he goes first. Yep. 
and yet you only count corruption on house mats for the skirmish power. So we all had one. One. You don't count the corruption in the sectors themselves. That'd be awful if you did. <laughs> it would be awful if you did. <laughs> Game over. That would be that would be very very bad. Yeah. So, um, Steve, which of these would you like to do? Uh, well, I'm going to have to do the top one because I do not have five pure yeah. guilds. I have four. Yep. Yeah. So I'll do the top one. I do have uh, a pure guild. You have a pure agenda. Agenda, sorry. Yep, yeah, so you get to establish an installation. Yeah. I'm, I'm the same. I have to do the other one. So may may I have a... No, you do have a pure agenda. Oh, I've got a pure agenda. Yeah, yeah. May yeah, I have a sector defence, please? It's an installation, or I can get an agenda card. I'd rather get the agenda yeah. card, I think. So that's what I'm going to go for. Unless you are going for it, because it's turn order, isn't it? I, I can't do the bottom one. All right, so I can freely choose. You can what freely I choose. Like. Brilliant. I'm going to get an installation, and I don't know whether to take a shipyard. Two pure sectors with nonny fleet power. Because the way I'm thinking about it is, once I've cleared these two, then come, this come is back. safe. Yes. This can never be attacked by the void board. Once you've cleared what this one, this once one, I've cleared those two, one, it means the void board. Really about this here. one. Here, it means yeah. these are safe. Yeah. Okay. So if I can just get rid of these two, focus for cycle uh, for cycle two, then then I'm tempted to put a shipyard here and build and then get in there. Yeah. Oh, hello. That's an obvious no brainer. We're doing gaining agendas. Thank you. And squad, but not now. Oh, no, no, I'm just gaining. Okay. Could I have a shipyard, please? You can. Yeah. Can you? Well, it's a whole action to get those, so it's kind of to have them in my hand. Sure. Mm. Right, so we've done that. Yes. And now each player scores their own agendas. Right. So, Stephen, we'll go through yours, yeah. first of all. So, mine is to have four population pure. In the pure sector. I have none. Quick, quick note about scoring your own agendas. You only ever score for pure sectors. So, if the sector is corrupted, it is never going to score. God. Yeah. So okay. each of your pure sectors with four or more population. So I have a two and a three. So not. And that's corrupted. Uh, for every pure guild. Yep. One, two, three, four. If it's a no. farmer's guild, a miner's not guild, the or science. Any, oh, not the science. Guild. So three. So three. So three influence. Yeah. So oh, I'll go the wrong way. Yeah. So always the the different way you think. And then <laughs> minus one for each corruption, corruption on, on your house mat. So minus one. Yeah. Nasty. And your second agenda, second agenda you chose is to take upkeep of six, six or, or less, less. Yeah, which you have, which I have. So, so that's five. five points. Uh, it gets me to twenty-eight, and then the second one for every two pure engineers, mm. I get five points. So that's pure. That's that is not, not pure. So no, no points. No points there. Okay, right. I've got. Three influence for each of my sectors with two or more fleet power in it. I have one sector with two fleet power in it, so I get three points. I then get three influence for every sector that every pure sector with four or more population. I have one, so that's three. I get one point for each reclaim token. I have one, and I get one for every two bounty tokens, which is one. I've then got four if I've got three or more glory tokens, which I have. And then I get four for every three credits. I have no credits. JP. Hello. So I get three influence per sector that has no empty guild spaces. So Oh, that's why six. you did it. Oh, yeah. Six. I got So know, high upkeep, good. but lots of influence. Yeah, I kind of have to do it, really. So six for that. I get two influence for every sector that has three plus installations in it so got one yeah. there so it's two two um, and i get two influence for each uh tier that you've crossed so it's two points for that because it's one tier nice. i don't get this one which is three sector defenses and or star bases not quite there okay got two so that one doesn't score but this one i can't remember if it's, if it's fleet power in hexes or fleet power in general Let's have a look. Probably look What's at the, the name of the... Uh... It's a safeguard policy. Um, what, what category is it? It's the might. The might. 
I can't remember if it's which way around it is. And it's the safeguard policy. Yeah. Uh, two influence for each fleet power in your pure sectors. Okay, so, so I've got three. So literally every two. fleet power in a pure sector. Oh, it's two for each fleet power. Two for each fleet so power one, three, six. in a pure sector. That seems really good. Brilliant. Let's have it. Okay, scores after the end of cycle one. I have 28. 39. 39. Okay. Come on, Paul. 39. All right. You'll catch up. Sort yourselves out. You'll catch that, <laughs> That's the end of cycle one. So we pick up all of the cards in our discard pile. So you two get your innovation cards. Yeah. They go back into hand. And now we go to cycle two and we do phase A. So the first thing we do in phase A is we remove a trade token out of the game. So that's gone. Then what we do is we remove this. So those improved technologies are now available. Um, any that are still there at the start of cycle three will disappear and get replaced by the other four from the eight that were chosen at the start of the game. Uh, turn order. So the way this works is, Stephen, you have the least influence. I do. You choose where you want to go in turn order. I think I'll stay uh, first. OK. Yeah. Uh, we are both on the same influence, so I think it's you that chooses next. Is that right? Yeah, I think we okay. reverse the positions that we were okay. in. So do you want to go second or oh, third? I would love to go second. Okay. Thank you. Which means I go third. Okay. Then what we do is we get rid of this galactic event. Oh, God, yeah, event. new event. Go now, first. nobody peeked at this. No. So because nobody peeked at it, what you're supposed to do is you, you are supposed to use the top one, but we didn't actually shuffle them. So... Choose wisely. They never. No, not that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to be a short, short, oh. a short second oh, okay. cycle. I was not planning for that. So, strength in numbers. All players yeah. must add a Voidborn fleet and a uh, Bank. Banker's Guild yeah. on one adjacent Voidborn sector. And then what? we are corrupting that agenda slot. And then we all get to do this. What are we adding? A Void? This is, is this? Is this a. It's a void born fleet. This is very similar to the last one. Strength one, is it? It's, yeah. So, sorry, we're putting a void born fleet on, on an adjacent, adjacent void born sector. Yikes. And then adding a banker's guild to it. And adding a Come banker's on. guild to that sector. This is getting ridiculous. Right. It's going to go. Oh, oh dear. So That's going to get a mess. It's going to go. Oh. Okay. I think it's going to go here. I think I'm going to put you here. Or here. Oh, no, that means I've got to have a massive military strength. Yes. <laughs> but then I can absorb going in. Because you've got your barrage, haven't you? Yeah, I've got my bombard. So bombard, that, that's it. That's, that is tempting. And then all I need is force. I think that's probably worth doing. I'm going to do it. Uh-oh. Yeah. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm, it's a banker's guild. I'm going to put it there. Bank, yes. And I'm going to put the banker's guild. No, I've got the white right tokens. Okay. Double sided, aren't I? Right. So we've all done that. Mm, we have. Then we corrupt the top one, which we've done. And oh. then all players may either activate two fleet power or mm. deploy two fleet power. Hello. Oh, that's <laughs> good. Really? <laughs> yes. That's deploy really two. Good. Deploy two. Yeah. I mean, I've got two fleet power just sat there. I mean, to be deployed. Two fleet power. Yeah. Just sat there. So you, you got three. I'm going to deploy three fleet power. Three? Because I have orbital docks. So whenever you deploy each sector with a. Yeah. No. 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 So this is just deploy two fleet power. Well, now not, you're just making things up, honestly. Not deploy <laughs> one fleet power per shipyard. So it's just de deploy two. It's just deploy two. S well, okay. But well, we're going over this way. Which could be different places, but I'm going to. No, no, no. It's going this way. I'm going to have two more destroyers. So one of the. When I did the how to play video, so I, I'm I'm, ta I'm I'm mentioning this now for those people that are watching. When I did the how to play video, two people watched it before it went live and said to me, "Paul, you've made a mistake." Because in the video, I deployed fleet power to spaces that didn't have shipyards. Got a shipyard, but you can. Yeah. So it's a the reason why I'm talking about it now is it is a commonly misunderstood rule that you can deploy fleet power into a sector that doesn't have a shipyard. As long as you control it. As yeah. long as you control it. Yeah. The only requirement for a shipyard is that reinforcement card yeah. that says deploy fleet power to where there is a shipyard. So okay. yeah, if, if you're learning how to play the game, 
just remember if you get an ability which is deploy fleet power you can deploy even if there isn't a shipyard there right so the scoring condition for the end of this cycle is if you have five or more pure sector defenses and or ship uh, star, star bases five pure sector defenses yeah, yeah in total yeah you get a trade token mm -hmm. or really nice. if your upkeep, upkeep is four or less four. you get or less. four influence and you get to remove a corruption andy oh i mean come on that's just <laughs> that's just against what i'm doing isn't it yes it is <laughs> <laughs> okay there is a way of doing it but it's going against everything i stand for so cycle two phase b four turns now you're going to wait for me to try something to do. <laughs> yeah, the first yeah. cycle we yeah, yeah, were yeah. prepared. We were prepared. We were prepared we're because we, prepared. We, we sat downstairs having uh, having dinner and deciding what yeah. we were going to do. Yes. Whereas now... Now, no now it's all painful. I've got no idea what's going on. I want that. Uh, I want that. That's what I want. Well, I know what I need to do. I, I, I want to take this. Right. I'm not prepared for that. Okay. Which means I can't do okay. that. I think we are oh, going to. <laughs> oh my god. I think we're going to play Roduction to move that to there with the Thrive. Mm hmm. You Which allows me to deploy um, an engineer. May I have an engineer, please? Oh, you just get an engineering guild? Yeah. Which yeah. means you get... Uh, two engineers. Two... Yeah. Energy. Yeah. Two um, energy. Yes, I do. Which is always very nice. Very welcome. All right, Alex uh, is saying, can you have three of the big ships in one fleet? Yes. So destroyers, you can have three in one. The only ones that you're limited on are dreadnoughts and carriers, where you can only have one unless you have the improved tech, in which case you can have three. But for destroyers, there is no such limit. Uh, then we will... Is this remove corruption from anywhere? Yes. Oh, I need to put some... Hang on. Let's have some more. Let's have it. All right, there we go. I'm up to nine engineering now, which is quite nice. Uh, so then we will remove that one, I think. Yep, two actions done. Bang. It's about to me now, isn't it? Q, yep. Okay, I'm going to play reinforcements, which means I can play this agenda. Of environmental exploitation. More agendas. More agendas. The important thing is it has this action. Activate. Right. Because uh, I need to spend it. <laughs> so activate and... And to put a defence or installation Any down. installation you want. I'm about to do... My God, it's just like absolutely... It's full of stars. It's full of stuff, isn't it? Let's just go for it. So I'm going to put a shipyard in. Yeah. Um... So that's that done. Then I'm going to deactivate that fleet power just activated. Then move a one of these things. Which one do I want to do? Which one do I want to do? Let's do that one. That removes a corruption. Bye, corruption. Nice knowing you. And puts a sector defense down. Put those down. Then I'm going to do mobilize, which allows me to regroup. So I'm going to put two of these into here. And also put another sector defense in. Do I want to? No, I don't want to spend that. I've not got any fleet power, so that's not going to be good. Then that's me. So I just want to go through a combat situation with you just to check that I've understood this correctly. Yeah, mm -hmm. correct. Um, let's just zoom in here. So the situation is 
I have three destroyers, one corvette. Here there are three corvettes. There's a starbase. Yep. So what happens is... So the starbase is a sector defense. As it, well. it acts as a sector defense. Mm -hmm. So if I move in with these two, let's just pretend that I, I, I can move in with these two because yep. I will have something else in here. Mm -hmm. What's going to happen is that sector, that starbase is going to blow up the corvette, right? Yes. So, so I'm down to three. Yeah. That then you're tied. No, because no. on as an attacker, you get if you're plus. attacking with destroyers, you've got one extra initiative. Right. So I win the initiative four to three. Four to three. Which means I go first he and shoots. I destroy one. And he you shoots do an extra damage. And you do an extra damage. Yeah. It's one as the attacker once per combat, one extra damage per destroyer. Okay, so yeah. two, and then you lose a. No, you no, don't lose so any of them. One per destroyer. Yes, but then you will lose. Oh. No. And then, then they've, got, they've got no initiative, and I win. Yeah. Okay. If if that's definitely one per destroyer, it's once one per, per combat, destroyer, then, yeah. once per combat. That's how it bug. I mean, that's why destroyers are, are nuts, aren't they? So, although I was looking at that and thinking, this is going to take me a lot, these destroyers are phenomenal. Phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal. So. Based on that, I need to remember my special abilities as well, which I haven't done anything with. So what we're saying is I could attack that. Because if I play Conquest, I do that. I reduce the population to add an extra one. Of course, these are available to us, aren't they, these ones? Those are available. I yeah. just didn't have room to put them no, here. No, that's fine. I've got to remember. So I, I put them there. Yeah, I've got to remember that here. Because I remember this ability. In fact, I now that yeah, I can I can now put them all here. Put them there, and then we we've got space for them. Yeah, that's cool. Um, it's just do I want to do this first because it's going to cost me two energy. Ah, right. Well, for a start, I haven't got the two energy, so I can't do that. I I need production. That's the other different thing with this game there isn't a production phase no. where everybody produces you have to actually play a card to work it haven't you? to produce <laughs> um and unfortunately i don't have much in the way of production now how do you produce credits is that which card is that, that i've seen it it's um uh, research it's... innovation yeah i don't have innovation <laughs> oh. So well, I've taken this Banker's Guild, I've increased my credit production by four. Yeah, yeah there is a way you do the store, store prosperity, yeah. That's the way to do it. I didn't want to do prosperity. <clears throat> <laughs> my right. game is mean. I didn't want to do prosperity yet. I wanted to do that later. Okay, so I, I've got so many choices because I could take the trade token that would get me the two credits um the other option is that i just do supply but that's that's rubbish yeah that's that's really rubbish i produce food of which i get none i produce energy of which i get one oh, materials i get some materials i don't really need much in the way of materials And I move that to there, which means I get that, which is corrupted. I don't want the corruption marker. <laughs> right. If anybody wants to go and have a cup of tea and come back in a couple of minutes uh, <laughs> when I'm when I'm good to go. Yeah. Okay. So I could do that. I could do that. That would work I think that would work or do we just go for it this isn't corrupted is it that is not nope you're good to go on that one so straight away that that's going to increase my credit production by another four. I need to do that before I produce the credits. So I really want to do the conquest, but if I don't have the energy, 
And if I don't have the credits, then I can't. So I've got to do something that gives me two energy. And I'm looking, and I'm still looking. And I think it might have to be taking a trade token. So what card gets me a trade token? Is there a card that gets you a trade token? There is one. It's, uh, control. Control. Politics. Cost of credit. Yeah. I'm going to credits. Oh. I'm in a bit of a... So you're a bit of a pickle, aren't you? A bit you? of a catch-22, aren't I? Mm -hmm. What about technologies? Is there a technology which is going to allow me... Yeah, there is. Okay. Right, we're going to do it. I've thought, I've thought <laughs> enough. It might all completely backfire, but I am playing my raid card. And the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to spend a bounty token and a science to take a basic technology and the basic technology I'm going to take is autonomous drones which gets me four influence and it means that I can spend trade tokens to gain absorption and during a skirmish I can just spend a trade token to, to win the skirmish I basically give them a package of cakes or something yeah and they go off Leave your but life. also taking that allows me to take a trade token and I'm going to get two credits. Right. And that trade token is... Oh, and I also get to deploy, but I can't deploy. But I don't have a thing. Okay. I've got a trade token. It's that thing. It's kind of worth doing. Next. I was going to do that, but I've just noticed because I've got two credits, I can now raid. I can now do the liberate action. So all right, you can invade and... So I so I can. So I'm going to do that. And what do you get influence for the yeah. population? So I spend two credit. I spend two credits as energy. Yeah. Um, to do that. Now, there's no regroup beforehand. Oh, no, hang on. He does enjoy it, doesn't he? He does. Yeah. Well, it's the problem is... turmoil you have in your brain. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I was going to go in with these four because I was going to do Conquest. The problem is, if I now go in with those three, I mean, the set defences kill they? one. And then we're tied. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to have my credits back. I'm not going to do the raid action. Instead, I'm going to do... I'm going to bargain. Bargain. I'm going to do a bargain, bargain. with some evil forces. Uh oh I'm going to gain a corruption. Why not? Oh, and, and I have Why to spend a credit. Why not? Now, where's that corruption going to go? Uh, it's going to go on there. Oh dear. But I gain a bounty token. Which is two materials or one influence. I will have two materials. And I also gain a trade token. So I'll gain another trade token. And I will, in fact, I could have done that first. No, I couldn't. Um, I'm going to take the two credits because I desperately need to use credits as energy. I mean, I could have just taken two energy, but I might as well take credits. Okay, so I bargained, I consulted, that is the end of my turn. Unfortunately, I've only got space for one trade token, and then the other trade token goes back to there. Okay. And I don't have the trade nexus, so I don't get a bonus mm. for doing that. But there you go. That's it. That's my first first turn done. I think we do that first. Uh, what well, I was just saying? Yarvet can discard bounty tokens for credits. Yes. Thank you. I, I had forgotten that. I need to remember that. So you've got three credits in the bank. I, I've actually got three here, but yes. And yeah. Yeah, that would have opened up some opportunities for me. I think we go with that next. Okay. 
Stephen. Yeah. Four actions this cycle. Four actions. Four I've actions. Done one. Only three to go. What? How hard can it be? I know. It's, oh. Are we going to get to the middle? No. Possibly not. <laughs> Possibly well, not. Again, we're not experts in this well, game. No. I don't know if you can go here and get in the middle. Okay. Maybe. No, I'm, I'm not sure. I think Maybe I'm going to try can. and get here. There'll be a way. Can I? Nigel and David T would fix know. it. I'm sure you can. Yeah. You've, you've got to be you've efficient. Got, you've got to be super efficient, chaining agenda actions and just off you go. You know? Just have a look at what the other two cards could have been. Oh, they're only four and five. Oh, okay. Okay. It's a so, short middle. Yeah. Regardless, isn't it? Why did I want to do that now? Definitely need to do. So if I were to invade here. Yep. Sector defences would kill one. Lose one. Yep. Shoot that one down. As long as you've got more than one initiative, you would kill it before it killed you. So you just need three ships. Right. Just remind yeah. me about this rule. I can deploy a ship here. What's so what's the deal with the shipyard? So the shipyard is only relevant for the card that says deploy where you have a shipyard. Right. And in that case, you when you do that, you you've got three shipyards there. Yeah, and I've two only got there. one active. Yeah, you need lots I of need um, more. Lots of fleet power. More activating fleet power is a struggle. So Jordan is saying I can leave a destroyer behind and win the combat. So let's just go through this. If I move in with two. Yeah, you've got three in this two. One of them dies from that. No. No, you wouldn't win. No, I'd, I'd, I'd have to go in with three. One of them would die from the sector defence. Then we've got tide initiative. Yeah. So while I deal three damage to it, it deals one damage to me. So yeah, if I go in with yes. three, so I can leave this behind. I, I could have done it. Then. Yeah, yeah. I, def I, I could have done it. Yeah. Ice cream fans here. Brooks fan is here. Right. Right. Yes. So, I think, therefore, I am. I am. I am <laughs> going to play Temptation. I am going to take a corruption mm -hmm. in order to activate this one. Which is going to uh, allow me to do some production. Do we not have five actions this cycle? Yeah, I've read uh, It's kind of I not fair, is it? I think I will take. <laughs> I mean. Production. I think I'm going to take en uh, energy. So six. I'm getting up to 15. But not beyond. Okay, because if you overproduce, you yeah, gain you three, three points. points. Yeah, yeah, which is a bit of a shame, but such is life. Um, so that was that action there. I'm going to move this one here to take that off, and then I'm going to peek at those. Oh, two cards. So here are the cycle three events. We're going to give them a shuffle. Yep. You get to peek at the top two. Yep. You put one on top and, and one the on other the one on the bottom. And therefore you are gonna know unless something else changes. Yeah. Which one is the event for next time. Yep. Oh. Wow. Okay. Let's put that one on top. That one on top. Let's put that one on the bottom. Okay. And then you can blame me. Right. All right. Okay. So that was that one. Mm -hmm. I'm then going to um, spend a science because I'm playing Temptation to remove that yeah, one. Now I'm all right. Good. Just to answer Zero Gravity's question, yes. If the agenda slot is corrupted, you gain that corruption whether you take either from the face down deck or the face oh, up yeah. deck. And then innovation, I'm going to lose two science in order to take a tech. Improved or 
Well, I can have an improved one now. Which actually when you do, do that. Um, I'm doing this one to activate my innovation. Oh, right, no, which guide. could be an improved one if you wanted it. Yeah. 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 Could could be be it could be any of these as long as you've got the basic one. Um, purifier, I do. Sure. Um, but I think I'm going to go with cybernetics. Replacing your basic one. Yeah. So gain six influence. Six influence. Gain a guild or increase the population of a pure sector. 30. Four. Uh, place a guild or increase the population of a. So this one was every four. So I'm going to put this one up. Yep, which increases your energy and science production by one. Tucked. Two actions done. No agenda, no trade tokens. No, I activated this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play uplift and I'm going to do all three actions, spending my trade token. So, action number one is going to be let's just go top to bottom. So, bombard. I'm going to spend credits instead of energy. Two of those. And I will spend three materials. And oh no, because I can't leave one there, can I? Right, let me figure this out. If I take three of those in there and absorb, they'll just wipe each other out. I've not thought this through. Yeah. You're going for one of the big I ones, need, are you? I, well, I need one more, don't I? Because Otherwise if I'm you were to go in with yeah. three Corvettes, you would lose one Corvette from the safety defences. and then you'd I, have I can two. absorb that hit. Oh, you can absorb that hit. Okay. And then it'd be three versus three. You'd both deal a damage to each other, but doesn't your bombard give you salvo absorption as well? Oh no, it's all. It's all. It's one or the other. So either way, if I came in with three, I, I banked in my head of going in with four. Right. I can't because I'd leave it abandoned. Yeah. Do I want to do this now? It's okay. I'm going to not play that yet. That's fine. And do it the other way around so i don't think it will make any bit of difference because it's the regrouping that i need but that's fine maybe i'll just do it and just go somewhere else so if you had materials yeah the icon on that bombard action yeah is you can do it multiple times oh i thought that's what that icon meant for every three materials you spend i can get either or mm -hmm. If that changes, it does change it. Let's do it. How many materials have you got? Okay, I've got three more, so I can do it twice. So I already spent the three, so I had six. Okay, so you can do it. Let's do it. That works. So you're playing the uplift you card. That. You've spent the two energy. You've spent six materials to do a, a massive bombardment. Oh, sorry. Are you I've, got okay? this, I've got this tech. When I increase the population, yeah, the pure, I get two matching with those so i get two energy and two science wow yeah. okay okay oh, you've yeah, got well, I, I, can't, I can't get past here so you get uh influence. It, no you don't no because no i don't produce, get points, it's ah it's only when you produce it yeah, yeah. Only when you produce. Yeah. but i did get the science right? Right. nice yeah sorry no, carry on no, it's all good. so you're so going, I'm going in, in with three now you're going in with three yeah and i've spent for two absorption one's going to be on the approach and one's going to be on the salvo. And one's going to be on the salvo so in the approach step the sector defences deal one damage, which you absorb. Yeah. Then we go into the salvo step. We You've do. both got the same initiative, so you both deal one damage to each other. Yeah. But you absorb the first one. Yeah. Now we go to the second salvo round. You've got three, they've got two. Then we go to the third salvo round. You kill them. Yeah. Nicely done. No, I'm nicely reading the rules, though. Yeah. Because if you save my bacon, that's so, it. So, <laughs> do you want to do the glory first? Let's do the that's glory. Easy bit. You gain that, and you yeah. gain eight, uh, seven glory. That's seven, yeah. Oh, got a sweat on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, installations are removed. Yeah, they're gone. That's fine. Guilds stay. So your credits production goes up by four. Four. Nice. One, two, three, four. You gain two reclaim tokens in this sector. Let's have a look. So we can have 
activate fleet power or deploy in the sector. Well, I don't have a choice. So that's activate. So on. Activate fleet power or deploy. Oh, same. Or just pop it in there. Okay. So you found a Corvette. Found a Corvette. Roaming the uh, the place. And that is now your sector. That is my sector. That's quite cool now. I didn't realise you could do it multiple times. Mm. That's what that recurring arrow is. Yeah. That makes sense. So th so you are now adjacent to here and here. Yeah. Oh, stop it. Hello. So if you had loads and loads of materials, your bombard is actually putting you quite close to us. Yeah. Interesting. And I can soak up hits. Very interesting. So, But I have no materials right now. Anyway, so the second one is I'm going to spend a credit. Oh, God. Everything. Credit to get an agenda. Boink. You're doing all three actions, aren't I you? I am, yeah. So I'm going to take start my a time. wealth agenda, but I don't like that one. Although that is now giving me four influence for these reclaims. Um, but what's that triggering off? Ooh. I need to do that one anyway, didn't I? Oh, I need five actions this turn as well. Oh, I've picked that one up already. I already played reinforcement. So this is the second action, isn't it? This is the second action of four. Yeah, I just had reinforcement back on my hand upon. Sure, I've already done that one. Um, right, so that one's going to be triggering off a production either way, isn't it? Production or development. So that's fine. Wherever I want that one. So this one is uh, two pure sectors with non-equal fleet power. Oh, that's a different one. Or that is, or mar or mar that's a strange one, isn't it? It's a one-off for influence. So this is in the wealth agenda. Yeah. Um, I'm not it says, enamored by it, I'll be honest. For influence, if you have two or more total different fleet types. 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 Don't want that one, then. Thank you. Deployed in your pure sectors. Well, so you've only got Corvettes, haven't you? Yeah. So Okay, that one's that one. That one is that one. Let's go for that one. That's quite good. Give me something to go for. Okay, so that's the analyze action. And then I'm going to do the regenerate. So the regenerate is spend one science to remove. Remove the corruption from a sector. I should not fit. I think that was four, yeah. Remove corruption sector and then produce credit. Did you increase your credit production by four? I did. So two. There you go. Hold well on. Put that back. Goes on there. Oh, sorry. Do that. And then my trade nexus says I'll actually get um, some food. I just think that to me is more valuable right now. Yeah, I've only got four food. Because my upkeep is getting silly. So. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to play politics. And. Just well. I'll do everything I can't. Hmm. This is interesting. Which one of these do we do first? I think. I think we'll do the invasion first. Mm, yeah. We're going to do we're going to prevail that's what we're going to do so i have no energy so i have to spend three credits two as energy and one as a credit i'm going to swap out my one glory token for two and then we're going to invade it's on the warpath again stop him uh do need that as well Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm going to plan and then just change that plan. Copy those two. Yeah, sorry. Sorry? Undo that. Undo that. So Happy three credits back. Everything. I'm not playing the politics card. I'm playing the conquest card. Because when I play the conquest card, I can decrease the population in here in order to activate that and have another destroyer. Now, I now have three fleet tokens in here, which is allowed until the end of the turn. Four now. 
end of the turn you've got to discard down to two but you can do a shuffle can't you i've done that right then we're going to do conquest i'm going to spend two energy uh, spend two credits as energy and i can regroup but i'm not going to regroup i just said something has to be pure sector so you, did you I, do something in no, i think i think that's answering a question earlier up oh okay does a player still gain corruption from a corrupted agenda offer? Uh, oh, no, 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 that's this. Only? No, you're right. Pro uh, conquest focus. It has to be in a pure sector. Oh, sorry, you're down there, are you? Yeah. Sorry, not sorry. It does, it does say that I can reduce the population in a pure sector. Right, so I can't do that. Yeah. Thanks, Nigel. Thank you. I think I watched some chap explain that you can't change population in a corrupted Second. Correct. That's that's it. It's, it's on a video, video isn't it? It's on a video. It's on a video. Yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. So population <laughs> can never be changed in it. Right. Okay. So in which case we are going to return back to the politics card. I am going to spend that one remaining credit, and I am going to swap the one for a two. And then, unless somebody's worked it out incorrectly, I am going to go in with. Two destroyers and a corvette, leaving one destroyer behind. That should be there. Okay. So on the approach damage of the star base. Kapow. Is it Kapow? Does Kapow so, star base is Kapow? The star base does approach damage and kills the corvette. Then we both have three initiative. Yeah. So we're both going to deal one damage to each other, but I have two destroyers. We deal two extra damage. Yep. And you leave yourself with one. So that's how that goes. Okay. So I've taken over the sector. This is my first action of the politics card. I gain the bounty token. I will take the energy and the science. Yeah, the energy. So one of them, one of them. I gain the glory token and I gain. 1,312 influence. <laughs> Gain seven. Okay. My credits production goes up by four. Pop, pop, pop. And my energy production goes up by four. And I've now got this ability. So I can spend energy and science as if they were interchangeable. interchangeable. Nice. And you've got a star base. And I got... Yeah. Oh, which counts as a shipyard? Yeah. Which yes. Like a failure of uh, offence. Okay, that was that. Next. Do I want to do that or do I want to do that? I'm going to do that. I'm going to inspire. I'm going to spend one science to move that marker to there, which moves that to there. Ready for the mass fleet. Okay. Um, I didn't want to use a trade token. I haven't got an agenda card in hand, so that is my go done. We're halfway through the game. Okay. Believe it or not. Okay. I think I am going to do my progress. Thank you, Baz. Very funny. It's the same. <laughs> Melon. <laughs> yeah. I was having a discussion with him earlier this week about secret words. Okay. I am going to lose two energy. One science to activate this which i think is going to be may I have a corvette please thank you i think is going to be this corvette moving here and then i'm going to invade a void born sector is going to be this one where I will lose that sacrificial corvette and then so I'm putting this these guys in yeah so and then will... I shoot them down yeah that's it take that score four points score four points nice uh getting the reclaim token oh, the, the installations go the installations, the installations get blown up i get to place oh lovely may i have um, a, guild. a factory a miners, yeah, guild. miners guild 
I will have that, please. Yes, which gives me your two. Mineral production by two. Materials production by two. And gives me two. Oh, because you've placed a... Yeah. yeah. You've placed a girl. That was nice. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was that. Yep. Then I think I will take a um, corruption, which allows me to produce. I will produce... Use. It might be the most complex one to play, but it is quite cool. I think I'm going to produce science. Have another three science. Uh, and then I'm going to take a tech, which is going to be, I think, autonomous drones, which gets me a trade token. And. No. Any of those things? Yeah. Probably two science, I think. And you also can deploy. I can also deploy, and that can go anywhere you said, didn't you? Yeah, anywhere. Yeah. Can go anywhere, anywhere in a sector that you control. Yeah, okay. It's <laughs> going to go here. <clears throat> Into a Corvette token. Thank you. All right, and then I've got nowhere to put this. So at the end of your turn, it goes back. End of my turn, it goes back. And having put it back, I have Trade Nexus. So I will gain yeah, one of those things. Uh, another two science. Two actions, done. That's a me. I think I have to do that, Rob. I don't know what to do. I think it's the best play. Let's see if I my credits down. And then I can play that again. Yeah, then that protects me from that, and then we're good. Thanks. Let's not put down that again. Yeah, all right. I will play Temptation. I will gain Corruption from here. And activate and deploy into my home sector. Got a non six, wish I was. Yeah. So many things to do. Right, that's that one, then I get to produce two of my resources. So I will do food and I will do materials. There's a whopping load of stuff there. Wow. Don't get eight, I get five. Stop cheating. Yeah. That's that one. Then I'll do one of my preferred focus actions. It is production or development. No, it's not production or prosperity. Can produce that again. Do that one moves that to there, increases that, removes that, so that's better. Does it move? Question mark. What have we got? If you don't have space for a trade token, can you really take it, claim the stuff, and then put it back and claim it again? Yes, you can, as long as you've got trade nexus. So uh, whenever you take a trade token, you get the bonus. Whenever you put one back, you don't normally get anything. But with the trade nexus technology you do get it when you put it back you produce that and i'm going to produce that that action so i've just done a store but off my temptation mm -hmm. and that is me so i've got two corruption on my board mm -hmm. you're going to get attacked with three uh, yeah? which means yeah i'm going to get attacked 
by three of course fleet it's power. Plus one, isn't it? Oh. So it's plus one in cycle two and three. Now that means I'm going to need quite a lot of uh. defense. Now that's a sector defense. Yep. Mm -hmm. But that isn't. No, no. That's your target, isn't it? At the moment. Am I bothered? Well, that, gonna, you that's lose what much, we've got to you? ask ourselves. Are you do I just, the only thing is, you I, were, don't want to lose a glory token. You were trying to clear this out in order to then go this way, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, exactly. So they'd then be coming back in. I need I need to decide if I'm bothered at all about... Gives them another foothold to attack you from, doesn't it? But if you're well defended everywhere else anyway... Unless you can take this down now. Which you... I'm not sure I can. Can't. I'm not sure I can. I'm good here. I'm good Because I only have three fleet power available to me. I just need to sort out my food. I've sorted that out. I, people are starving. My upkeep is seriously high. <laughs> <laughs> very, very high. Have I got less than four? No, I do One. not. No, I do not. It's not happening. Two. I'm still at two. I've got zero. <laughs> I've got no upkeep at the moment. So I think, well, my, my first card that I think I'm going to play is Reinforcement, but I'm probably going to undo yeah. it, knowing me. Um, <laughs> That's bad if I do that, but I do need to do it. So I'm going to muster. So I spend two materials and I can deploy one fleet power where there is a shipyard. Now that counts as a shipyard. That's a shipyard, that's a shipyard, that's a shipyard, but I've only got three. That's a combo. So I might as well put one there, one there, and one there. I'm a happy boy. So I could go in there with three destroyers, and that would win that fight. Yeah, three destroyers, one gets killed on the approach, leaving you with two, which are like three like initiative, then two, you'll kill it. Yeah. However... I, I then get attacked. You will get attacked from this sector into there, but you would have two destroyers left, right? And it would be three coming in. Three coming and in. And there'd be no sector defence. So, yeah. anyway, I've done that. Question is, which one of these do I now do? So I can't do the top one. <laughs> so we won't do the top one. We'll do we'll do the next one. If if I want to. But this is the situation that we talked about earlier on, Stephen, where you only wanted to do one action one on the action, card. The, yeah, the, but the important one. So if I spend one energy, I can regroup and build a sector defence. So I, I will have a sector defence. I might as well. Can you throw me a sector defence, please? Cool. Okay, so if I have a sector defence here... Now I have a sector defence here, 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 and here. So at the moment, they're going in here. Because they'll win. If they go in here with three, that one dies, and then they blow that up. So maybe we don't put the sector defence there. I'm not going to put the sector defence. No. No, it's free, but I'm not going to put it. But I am going to regroup. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this Corvette one, two. So there's a Corvette there. I think this is right. Got to do that to score that, so I'm gonna to have to put it in. And if I move these two destroyers here, I'm trying to I'm trying to not lose a ship, but I don't think I because now now they're gonna go here. Okay, good. 
So, no, we don't do that. We leave. All right, that's as we were. So I move this destroyer one, two. So there's a destroyer there. <laughs> this goes there. Move that one. Uh, the destroyer. That's destroyer. Now I can't take this. Not really. Without losing this. Because I forgot that was there. So, yeah, it's damage. damage um if i move I that mine. hey abandon mine i might do it's like nah. it's I gone. think i think i will i think this is more important to me it's good though it is nice mm. just trying different things I'm, I'm getting attacked by three aren't i so three into here one dies from the star base is then two v two you win an initiative no destroyers only get the plus one in attack God, yeah. So you wipe each other so out. So we wipe each other out. I've got to get rid of one of these. You do. It's the same problem you had last time. It's the same problem. Exactly <laughs> the same problem that I had last time. Yeah, if you can get rid of the corruption, you're fine. However, you, you will get rid of a corruption on the galactic scoring, but it's too late because it happens after skirmish. Where? Right? No. After skirmish. Oh, it yeah, it yeah, happens yeah, after that's skirmish. That's the problem. <sighs> yeah. Okay. I think that's it. I think that's my mobilized and i spent one energy just to move that to there so i think i am done okay 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 i'm very sad because i should have moved that one earlier sad however time. Sad time. so i'm gonna have to abandon this i think you're doing an attack i think i'm going to do you're an abandoning attack. abandoning a sector yeah because i'm gonna lose one here okay and I need to have three here, and I'll end up with to beat it on initiative. I'll, yeah, be, I'll, be, I'll be two there. Otherwise, yeah. we'll just I'll just destroy myself. Um, uh, you do have autonomous drones. That's so you could spend Ooh, a trade token true. to get you a salvo absorption. Do you know what that is true? I may very well do that. Is it salvo absorption? It's one salvo absorption yeah. and one. Sorry, one approach absorption and one salvo absorption. So you get one going in from the star base. Yeah. And you get one so I absorb the attack. I can one. leave that one there then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you're fine. Right, okay. So then you'll have let's two left. Do you'll have two in there and one in there. Conquest. So two energy. It's great when it all works out. When it all works out, when somebody else is helping you. Yeah, if someone goes, <laughs> yeah. can, did can you know? Can you help me as well? Because sure, I, I, sure, I, sure. I... <laughs> So two energy. Uh, engage. So move this one in. Oh, I just want to do everything. I just can't do it. That fires at me. But I spend this. Spend a trade token. To put that back there. Yeah. And. Which triggers your trade nexus. Which triggers my trade <laughs> nexus. So that will be something. It may as well be. Ugh. Yeah, two science. science. Yeah. Thank you, Nigel. That's what I should have given. Okay, so that's gone. That's yep. absorbed that one attack. Yes. Now we go into now he, Salvo. You have three initiative. initiative against two, so you kill one of theirs. He kills that. Now they deal one damage to you. Kill that. No, you've got one Salvo absorption. Oh. So yeah, second round of combat. Shoot back. You kill them. Okay. Oh, that worked out an awful lot better than I thought it was going to. Thank you very much. I meant to leave that one there. <laughs> <laughs> so we gain this. For two, three, four, five, five points. points. Gets me to 43. There's a bounty token. I think that's the right call. I think that's the, the right The bounty call. is... Plus one energy and materials or one influence. I will take plus one energy and one materials. And then your energy production goes up by four. My energy production goes up by four. Stops. So it goes up by three. Okay. Because I'm now producing fifteen. Wow. <laughs> um. And now I can use it as you can spend energy as if it was science and yeah. vice versa. Okay. Uh, sure. So that was my engage. Uh you got the glossary there, Paul. I do. So currently, I'm going to be attacked by one. Two. Two? Because it's plus one in cycles two and three. Oh, I'm going to lose this one. Oh, 
effect. You know, when you think, I know what that is, and then you start doubting yourself what the icon mm. actually means. <laughs> so I, there's nothing I can do to stop that one. No, but it means that's where they are attacking. Yeah. It's like me. I'm, I'm going to lose this one. Sure. Okay. So we'll do that, and then I get to do something else. Oh, unless I do that. So I've got to, if I do the agenda and move that, that could go, can that go under there or not? Uh, yeah, it can be corrupted. Sure. Yeah, it, it doesn't have the cannot, cannot be corrupted icon. So I can move that under there. Then yeah, I'm only you, attacked you... by one. There's still mutually assured destruction there. Okay. I will take an agenda. What would you like? I can't play it. I will take one without corruption. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Do I want to take corruption? Because then no, you could, I don't. You could produce, couldn't you? So he's definitely attacking here, is he? He's likely to. Well, so that's there's, that's defended. It, it's you look at all of the sectors where it could win or tie. Now it's attacking you with one. one. So it can't win here. It's not going to even it win. Can't there. win here. So it there can win here. Yeah, that's going to be favourable because it yeah. will wipe you out. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. This is your target. That's my target. Unless you somehow build a sector defence, but this is your last turn, isn't it? Yeah. And if I go for take a corruption, I mean, there's no point taking corruption. You're just, it's, it's producing, but it's then producing. you're going to enhance the potency of the Voidborn attack. Yeah, but he's still going to attack here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I mean, if it was attacking with two, then oh, it would then, make then it, he would probably it go for more, yeah. then go for it's that. More devastating. Well, in that yeah. case, I'll take one without <laughs> corruption. You're probably going to want what have you got? Uh, Support. I've got so any of these then. Well, two, two in the middle. Yeah, I will take this one, please, because do you want my... a blind one or do you want this? What is that one? Two or what? So this is uh, two pure sectors with um, fleet power. That's not the same number different types oh different types different types that of makes more sense and that's per reclaim token i want which is one i'll take the one because paul wants it oh no i've only got one <laughs> oh, oh what's what's the other one above it and the other one above it is uh eight yield from your have eight yield on your um, um energy. do you know what i do then that's giving you five straight off the bat right, okay and then per fleet power in pure sectors i think mm. that's why I yeah here. okay i'll tell you i can't play it Done. Are we ready? Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm playing. It's me, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. I'm playing production and also playing this. Another agenda. Another agenda. I don't know if I'm Man, putting it I'm, in now. I'm falling behind. I don't know if agendas. I'm putting it in because the upkeep is getting ridiculous. And your agendas have different types? They are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Made sure of that. Um, now we... that's the interesting thing with the genders. You could play an agenda of the same type. Yeah. But then at the end of your it. turn, you can replace yeah. it, or you it's, could throw it's it. It's okay. I, I would only score four influence of this right now because it's improved tech per improved tech, and having at least one five glory token. I'm actually happy to just ditch it at the moment. Um, so I am going to do the agenda actions. I'm going to actually put a. Uh, Miners Guild in there. So it increases your materials production by four. Two, three, four. Wow. I'm literally on 12, 12, 12. That's mad. Never got that high before. And then I may produce it. So, funny enough, this is going to max out, I think. Stop. That's it. Stop and get three points. Three. So you overproduced. Yeah. Three points. And right, so that's that done. I will saw that in a minute. Now, because this is production, my robotics um, is one of my preferred focuses. May do something twice. So I'm actually going to thrive twice and spend two materials. I love robotics. Oh, so so good. good. So I get to go up this track twice. So and the first good. one is a speed booster there. Yeah. I'm not removing that. You might think, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Because of, I get seven points for having it. So ah, right. I'm keeping that there for the moment. Um. I'm going to kind of get punished a little bit, but it's fine. Um, yeah, so I moved twice. I'll get to increase population somewhere. 
And there's the best place for you. I reckon so, because I mean that. I mean that does move my food up a little bit. Mm -hmm. But then I can just drop a food guild in there at some points, I think. So credits production and materials production goes up by one. Yeah. I'm literally maxed on materials now. It's crazy. Um, that's the first move. The second move is get a tech. And is it improved? It's improved or. Okay. I don't think the trade nexus improved tech is out, so I can't have it. Not yet. So it'll have to be a base. Um, not too worried about this one. Compact conveyor takes place in a void one set to I may put a reclaim in yeah. it. Yeah. That's quite they nice. were all these these would all have been great earlier on. Yeah. But I got so many more reclaim tokens. When you increase population you may gain credits or activate cloning. Yeah, okay. I have got a fleet problem power. Fleet power problem I'll just do it for points really. What's not out here? So cloning's out there already. So scarf, uh, so that's already out there. What isn't? What's coming on the improved tax? Destroyers are probably coming. Autonomous drones, destroyers, trade nexus, and orbital docks. They are the next four that are coming in. Actually, all the ones that have been taken. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. That's fair. I don't think it really matters. Unless I really want this. No, I want the points. Let's go. Let's go cloning. Why not? So I get four points. One, two, three, four. And you get either one credit or activate one fleet power. I'm going to need that. Okay. Right, that's my double bubble of that one. And then I may do this one or this one. So I think I will do... See, that one's no good now. Other than moving that, producing... Materials, although it's three points again, isn't it? Well, I do food and energy to move that, which doesn't give me anything. I'm just going to do that. I've got three points for overproducing. Done. Now, do I want to socket this? I don't think I do, so I'm going to discard it. So I need to get rid of a corruption on my house mat. And I think needed one more action. Oh, no trade tokens for you. Interesting. No, it's expensive. Mm. I think my upkeep is ten. <laughs> well, luckily, I'm all right. <laughs> but it's still. It's like, oh, ouch. Can you use this for upkeep? Yeah, it cost two though. Oh no, no not your special power is it no okay just cannot, cannot be used in upkeep. two for one like anyone else mm -hmm. yeah wish you could but it's probably overpowered so i've i've planned for losing this sector but you've found a way of saving it well <laughs> is it worth it just realized my development card is another way that i can remove corruption yeah because i was planning on doing Um, uh, what was it? Prospero? No. Production. I was planning on doing production and using the optimize action to remove the corruption. But if I do remove the corruption, I'm going to get attacked by two, which at the moment is can't can't win here, can't win here. Yeah, I got a problem here, haven't I? Yeah, because it's here. So yeah, they're, yeah. they're coming in here with two. One gets taken by that. With three, and, cur three currently. Three currently. But I'm going to remove one of these corruptions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're coming in. They're going to target that because that's the most detrimental to you, isn't it? That's going to so, hurt you more. So I have to play the development action. Yeah, sure. I'm going to spend one science to remove that corruption. And then I'm going to have to spend one materials to build another sector defense. Uh, 
That would that would stop me. Yeah, I can't settle because that would lose the cube. No, so another sector. So defense. another sector defense. So earlier on, when I didn't build that sector defense, that's a mistake. Should massive, have, massive mistake. Because I I had it for free and I could have built it. Why didn't you build it? Because you just didn't want to. I, I, up can't, an installation. I can't remember why. Yeah. Yeah, I think I wanted to save the space, but I obviously didn't. That's the only reason, isn't it? I didn't calculate it properly. Because obviously, they can never be removed unless you get them taken over, do you? Uh, yeah, if, if it's, it's taken over, you lose all the yeah. installations. So, I think that's it. Okay. Again, another pretty inefficient, quick turn. Okay. Because my only other option was to just forget the um combat and just lose a trade token instead yeah but that's fine that's fine we're all done can you can you do that I, i'm sure i can i've got no upkeep well there you go so that's <laughs> just removing that so you get attacked by one uh no because that happens here yeah after happens after mm -hmm. the are we, are we, where are we going now here we are we are now here yeah, skirmish yeah okay uh, we so are we know this is coming here one. So yeah, I'm I'm getting attacked by two. You're getting attacked by one. One. No, I need two. I'm getting two. So my potential targets are all around here, but they will not win if they go there. They will not win if they go there, and they will not win if they go there. Mine are coming here because I'm will win if they go there. Losing a ship. Okay. And so even you have four potential targets. So we said this one was the but, one they were going to but, attack. They will not win if they go anywhere else. No, because they'll lose this. They'll die. They lose they here. They definitely lose here. Yeah. Can't go here. Yeah, that's the only target. But what I am going to do is play this. Oh, you are. I am going to play this to save and protect it. that piece, and then going to push them all that way. So during a void bond skirmish, you may Bye. use the trade token. Yeah, to so win the combat. To win. to win the combat. So then I'm going to get two of that, and you get, get trade nexus. You so get, one get of those two bonuses. of that or that or that. Yeah, I've, I've not been using my house abilities, really. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, so I'm done. Okay, me. Yep. So they come in with No two. set to defences. No, you win the initiative. Win the initiative, bang. They take one of yours. Bang. So they were going in there because that was the only legal... Yeah, because oh, no. I've got super defences. Oh, wow. There. And I've got super defences here. So either way, they wouldn't... And they were coming in with two. Yeah. So they're going to die in either of these. And that's the place where they cause the most damage. So yes. you win the fight. I win the fight, but I lose a... Probably. Yeah. Uh, and in here... Yeah. Oops. That's exploded. In my head, I, ha I thought I'd only have one, so I'm that's happy. <laughs> so what happened to you? Just lost a, a fleet there. So okay. this has become abandoned. Okay, I've not so, seen this before. Yeah, so we just need to read a couple of rules. First of all, we need to read the rule on if I lose a Voidborn Skirmish. It is in the video. I can't exactly remember what it is. I think I lose a Glory Token. Yes, yeah, sure you do. Um, so discard one of your Glory Tokens of your choice. There you go. I'll lose that one. Um, remove all of the installations from the sector. Remove all of the remaining Voidborn fleets. All right? The sector now becomes abandoned. And when a sector is abandoned... It becomes corrupted, it, which it already is. Uh, where is it? Abandoned sectors. It is in here. Um, place a corruption marker under the population die. Put a void born fleet with two. So that's it's there. Back again. Hello. With a random bounty token. Mm -hmm. Cutting you off. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's not ideal going into the third cycle. But. That's how it is. Upkeep. Yeah. This is expensive. So for I, me, I think zero. For me, it's two, four, five, six. So six food. Mm -hmm. Ten for me. Ten. Ten. Got 11 food, so. <laughs> yeah, I've got, right. got no upkeep. No, all, zero. None. Well, at least you get that benefit then. Zero. Crikey. Yeah. Crazy times. I've been trade token spending happy, just been getting rid of them. Yeah. I mean, maybe I should have spent the trade token to avoid the battle, but I've done it now. 
Just a second. Yeah. Let's put this back up to eight. Yeah. Do you want to spend I something have got, else I've instead? I've got plenty of energy yeah. here. So yeah. let's put. So I need to spend six. six. So you could spend twelve energy. You could spend twelve energy. I'm keeping my materials for for shields. <laughs> I think what I might do is let's spend six, for example. Did Paul's fleet power go into the spot? No, nope, he didn't. Thank That's you. Three. I did that earlier. I completely just had it off the side. But no, you should always put it. There. Just checking it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We're all good. Thank you, Michael. Okay, next. Yeah. Galactic events. So, Stephen, which one of those two would you like to do? Neither. Stay Uh I can't do the bottom one because my upkeep is ten. So mm -hmm. I'll do the top one because I have five sector defences. Five pure sector defences. I do. You get a trade token. token. I'd love one. What bonus what would you like? I love the food. Advantage. Because again, <laughs> need it. Um, I'm going to take the bottom one because I have an upkeep of fewer than four and I'm going to lose that corruption. Get rid. Yeah. Okay. Now we do agendas. So, Stephen, oh, your agendas first. This is the good bit. You're going to get uh, a whopping amount. So, I'm ho hopefully, yeah. Pure sectors with four population, I have one for three points. Three influence. Pure farming, miners, or. Engineers Guild, Top you've three. got one, two, two three, three, four, four five, six, Not no, pure. five, five, that's corrupt, uh, five. five, five, five points, and minus one for every corruption on your house mat, which zero. is zero, my well, upkeep was six, upkeep upkeep was six was. so no five. five points, and for every two pure engineers, engineers you've got so four, I've got one, Oh no, you've got two. three. That's pure, pure, is it? That's, that's not, pure. Pure. not pure. So I've got two, so five points. Five points. Okay, go on. How many are you getting? Right, so three for a non empty guild, so six again. Six for that. Two, then I get two for every three installations. So um, four. Four, yeah. Maths it's hard. And two for every tier. So I've got so you've crossed so I've crossed two here and one here. So that's six. That's, uh, six points. It's nice. Yeah, seventy-two. And then having three plus sector defences, which I do. In pure sector. Just in total. Yep. Okay. So yep. one off. So it's five. And then two influence for every that's, power. that's such a good one. In non corrupt. Oh, then again, you've already got. Oh, no, you got five. One, two, three, four, five. It's ten points. It's ten points. Yeah. It's really easy oh. to get lots of points from that agenda. I, re I remember getting Safe Safeguard those. policy, yeah. And yeah. then this one, I get seven if I have a corrupted yeah. track. So seven. That's, that's naive. Five. And for every two pure miners' guilds, you have four of them. I have four. So ten, ten points. I think I might be losing my uh, winning streak. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll see. I, I, that's how you're yeah. Getting agendas is it's important. To points. It's an important part of the game because I'm not getting very many points for mine because unfortunately I'm a bit too split up. So each pure sector with two or more fleet power, I have that one and I have that one. So that's six. Uh, each sector with four or more population, I have that one and that one, which is six. Okay, so that's all right. Uh, each reclaim token is one. Each two bounty tokens is one. Then do I have three or more glory tokens? I do. It's one, two, three, four. And then for every three credits. Okay. Scores at the end of cycle two. Stephen. 61. Okay. 105. What? <laughs> 105. 61. It's going well. I'm just saying it's going well. 105? Yeah, yeah. That was a big yeah. score. That was a big Has score. Has he been inside. watching your video? I, I watch your video and it's taught me everything I need to know about this game. <laughs> right. So, that's, that's the end of cycle two. Pick up your cards. Yeah. So we're fighting for second place. Wow. Well, what did you get? I'm just here. 69. Okay. Oh, I've had a terrible cycle two. Mistakes were made. I, I, I can pinpoint at, you know least, where it happened. Yeah. at least three mistakes that I made. I've never played so many agenda actions. Yeah, I've That's not I've not been collecting the agendas. Really useful. Okay, so first of all, phase A, we remove a trade token. Gone. 
then yeah, phase B, that we much. remove all of the technologies that were not taken, which is all of the technologies. Yeah. And we get the four of the ones. Get the ones that everyone's waiting for. Turn order. Stephen, where would you like to go in turn order? Well, I'll go first. I choose next, and I'm going to go. I'm going to go third, which means you get to go second. Now, Stephen chose this agenda. Yeah, well, he knows what it is. So what it is. you can blame me, right? Oh, is it awful? It's going to be a it's long turns. It's going to be a long agenda. <laughs> we're not going to sleep tonight. I'm paying attention to this. Just how long we? <laughs> so, yeah, Nigel is saying spending trade tokens for extra actions is a good idea. Yeah, I've I've considered doing that on a couple of occasions, but. I wasn't in a position to really make the use of the extra actions. So it's I just, it's, you got to look at your upkeep and, yeah. and go, can I afford it? Have I got enough I mean, food I could have afforded it. it. Right. Yeah, so. so, Shadow of the Void. First of all, oh. <clears throat> what have you done? We are corrupting every agenda offer. Oh, you monk. I should have played the other one then. I would have been sorted. Well, I need more agendas. Stephen needs more agendas. Oh, well. So we're corrupting all of these so other offers. need another agenda. We are then adding a phase. Voidborn fleet on every Voidborn sector that has four or more population. Okay. So, no. Yes. That's it, isn't it? Is that it? And that doesn't have no. population. And then all of us may... What about this? No, it's got to be a Voidborn sector. Because oh, it's not in there. Yeah. So all of us may either remove a corruption or... Place a corruption on an agenda slot to move, to move one of your civilization tracks. Holy and moly. Gain another corruption. <laughs> yeah, because you're going to get a corruption on the agenda and then you're going to get a corruption. No, no. A corruption on one of your agenda slots. Yeah, and then gain and a then corruption. Then gain oh, for getting if, an agenda. If you take an agenda, yes. Yeah. But that's not taking an agenda. Oh, no. That's it's just It's just putting a. It is for me if I move it this one. Yeah. Right. I mean, yeah, <laughs> I, I want <laughs> agendas next. Oh, so you don't get this corruption? No, no, no. It's, no. Ta it's take a corruption wherever the corruption mark is. Put it on an agenda. You put it on an agenda slot. You know what? It's oh, tempting. Right. Okay. It is tempting, you know. But, Stephen, you first. Means I'm going to get three corruption I have to get rid of, and that's going to be awful. Yes. I will take a corruption. And you produce. You put it on an agenda slot. Put it on an agenda slot. An empty it, one. Could put it on an empty one. Yeah. Put it on. Could put it on an empty one. Yeah. And then I will move this. Uh, bottom right sector, somebody's saying. What? Bottom right sector. Yes, you're right. Well yeah. spotted. Well done. Well, but I'm then not going I near. am going to take a corruption. I need a punch to the face agenda, please. <laughs> You mean might? Yeah, might. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. Are you can have that. How are you getting an agenda? That? Oh, mm -hmm. because you because I've, I've chosen you get to do that. that to move that. Yeah. Which moves that, and you get a might agenda. Yeah, but I've got two options here to remove. Right. Yes. To remove them. Um, what is that? Banks. So that's the yeah, bankers. No, guild. I have no bankers guilds. Four. I oh, know that's the yield. Oh, four plus bankers guild yield. Credit. Credit. Zero. Credit yield. It's the it's the, it's the yield. yield. So it's the. The actual number that you produce, which is still zero. zero. For you. Yeah, so, it was zero, so I'll, zero. I'll take two off the top, please. Two off the top. Mm. There you go. JP, are you removing a corruption? That means I'll end up with or are you really... corrupting one of your agendas. And I'm spending the whole cycle trying to sort that out, which is just awful. So I, but moving that is is great. Mm. Oh, these are both bad. But that can go on the bottom. Thank you. One will give me a trade token. Why didn't I lose that trade token? That was definitely Why? a mistake. Oh, yeah. Definitely, definitely yeah, a mistake. Yeah, I don't know if I want three corruption and then spend the whole game trying to sort that out. I'm going to remove. I'm not taking the risk. Okay. Uh, I've got stuff to do. I am going. <laughs> I am going to corrupt that agenda slot to move that to there. To take this because oh look it's now clear yeah that if it was the right type i definitely would have done that i would have happily had two corruption three's a bit much and then getting attacked with four four board right so we've done that eight. so the objectives for the end of this cycle are yeah either did i just do that does that count for that you gained a corruption so yes yes so yeah. i can do production yeah you can do yeah. production Okay. You do it twice, can't you? Uh, because you gain one from. Um, yeah, you've just gained two corruption. Oh, so I can do two <clears throat> productions. So you yeah. can you can do your production Produce. twice. 
All right. Okay. Um, yeah, Michael has just said that. There you go. We spotted it. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. Um, That's really good. Twice. Like passive production. So I'm going to because do the cost, but science two fifteen. My production's awful in this game, and I will do engineering to twenty one. Nice. Just have zero corruption, five tax. So I'll do any points. Three points for that. That sounds like something okay. to go for. So the objectives for the end of this cycle are: you take your highest production yield and your lowest production mm -hmm. yield, add them together, and that's how many. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> okay. It's the yield, is it? It's the yield. It's the yield. Oh, 15. Oh, hello. Oh, I've got fifteen and zero. Or I need to work on my banks. <laughs> Yeah. If you have no corruption on your house mat and five takes, you get 20 points. That's five. Seven. So it's either 16 or 20 influence for me. Yeah, okay. So, so I, need to, I need to get that up there and get that's that up a, there. That's a lot to do. But, that's a lot to do for me. But you get points for the tech as well. So that's currently... I've got my five techs. That for me is currently four points. What, this one? Yes. Yeah. Oh, my production is, is awful. Ouchie, ouchie. And we get, but we get six action. Wow, oh, six cards. Six, six. Well done. Six cards. Thank Knock you. yourself out. We can do anything. <laughs> well, we can absolutely do anything. <laughs> this is exciting wow. stuff. Right off we go. Right. I'm still off. On second, as you I? say. Off. Yeah, off. We go. So now. Wow. Well. And they're going to attack up. Plus oh, one. It's just it? plus one. Plus yeah. one. Same. Right. Same as last time. Okay. Exciting times, guys. And I'm going to do that to get an agenda down. Innovation is that one. Where's the other one? Progress, isn't it? Yeah, What's going on here? This three. I need to be activating a lot of fleet power. Yeah. Can we play again after this? <laughs> I want to play. I want to play this scenario again with this house again. I do something. And, I, and I, just I don't do what I did. Now you yeah. know how it works. <laughs> now I'm sort of seeing. <laughs> That's the danger. That is the danger. Ah, okay. Jolly right. good. Right, so we need to do some stuff. Got to do that. It's a double bubble. I'm just going to do that anyway, so I don't need to spend for that to get that. That's so good. That's so good. You're almost at the point where you need to pay to advance your top yeah. crack. Luckily, I've got some in there. This one's all right, but I've not been going for it. So this is like eight points per um, pure sectors that have six population. Oh, okay. yeah, one yeah, close it's... to one, it's hard to do. It's definitely hard to do. But I've kind of, I'm going wider with my uh, empire, so I'm not I'm not kind of consolidating in smaller areas. That's what that's going to be uh, for. Okay. I know what I need to do. So I definitely need two of those and then one of those, and I'm good. I'm going to get one void. void mm. Do I want to attack? That's the other thing. Do I want to attack? Do you want to attack? Yeah. The good news is I've got my bombard and a hell of a lot of material. Have you got materials now? Got 13. Oh dear. Yeah. So I can just go. You just go in and just absorb. Up. Yeah. Absorb. Absorb. I'll absorb that. Thank you. Just yeah. Go in with one ship and just absorb everything. <laughs> Probably it won't do that. Um. Okay, we we're just going to do some production. I'm going to move this one space. 
which allows me to increase a population. Which gets me another two food production. Um, I'm also going to remove a corruption. And then I think I'm just going to do my top supply, which is going to be another four production there. That gets me another three points. And that gets me one materials. Yep, two actions. Done? Yeah. Is it me? Yeah. It's green, isn't it? Do I do that first? Do that first. It would be good to do later. Maybe. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's start reinforce. We'll do that. Accelerate. Pop that down. Deactivate that. It's gonna be a Struggle. Look all that now. Okay. Definitely doing that. If it needs Definitely doing that. Do that. Definitely doing that. Then regroup them there. Pop them there. Get everything in the right place before I do that. Before I do that. Let's do. A bit of progress that's safe to do yep we're gonna dump we're gonna do experiment build a new scientist skill yeah possibly yeah do you like your upkeep that's i love the upkeep. five science production but it's just another uh it's another full sector for scoring isn't it one two three four five that's that one done. And then I'm going to spend two. What tech would you like? Got some tech. What is there for points? Would you want an improved one? You could have the improved trade nexus. I could. But if I'm going for that end game galactic event, I'm going to need five techs. Yeah. So improving is great, but it's still one. Salvage scanner or energy cells. Or any of the others. Yeah, maybe the points. Do I care about the points? Do I go in for that? Do I go destroyers and have a bit of that? Energy cells is only good for my uh, sector defences, really, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But what's it do? So two or five energy. Oh, for putting lots of fleet power in. That's quite useful. I'm about to... Yeah. I like that one. Just because I'm about to cross lots of uh, so you thresholds. Get, you get four influence. So four influence. And you may spend. You currently spend don't have any five. energy. If I have materials I could spend for energy. Because you're special. Because I'm special. So I could yes. do five. Very nice. I think I'll only do two for two rather than five for three. Mm -hmm. Two. Four options. That's what I needed. Yeah. You all done? Yeah, that's me. So here's my trade token. I'm yeah. playing prosperity with the central monetary system agenda, which can be played. And I'm going to use a trade token. Hooray! Just, just to keep you all happy. Yeah. So I'm going to use a Efficiency. Trade, trade token to do all the actions. Huzzah! Huzzah! Right. The first action I'm going to do is on the central monetary system to take a trade token. Which gets me two credits. That's that done. Then I'm going to spend one material to move on this track, which gets me a bounty token. Which is a food and an energy. And a trade token which allows me to activate the fleet power. 
got a plethora of trade tokens, but that's fine. So that's that done. Then I'm going to do this. I'm going to deactivate a fleet power, spend one energy, spend one material to take an agenda and build an installation. <clears throat> now, do I want to build that installation? I don't think I do. But I want to take an agenda. Now, I don't want to take a might agenda because I've already got a might agenda, which I'm about to play. The problem is all of the other ones are oh, I just realized corrupted. If I keep that corrupted free, I'm forgoing seven points. Ah, that's yeah. interesting, isn't it? So actually that top one's better for me. Okay. That's good. It's good to work these things out, isn't it? <laughs> uh, None of these are any good for me. So maybe I won't do that. Oh no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, for going with nine materials. No, slight change of plan. I'm not going to keep Nigel happy. I am not going to bother overrated. doing that because <clears throat> I don't want the agenda and I don't want the insulation. So I've done that, I've done that, I've done that, I've not done that. Right, so I can produce and gain two resources. So I'm going to produce. Um, now I can use energy as science, so I'm going to produce four energy, I'll go up to five, and then I gain any two resources. Well, let's have credits. You can't use credits as science, can you? Nope. No. But I can use energy as science. You okay, can, so I yeah. did that, I did that, I've done that. That's my go done. I then took that agenda into there. I put that trade token onto there and then I put that trade token back to there. Okay. That's it for me. None of that was getting rid of the corruption or the five energy that I needed, but never mind. It's fine. It's all fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Happy? Um, no. Static. No, he's not. No, he's not. Because I've just realised what that says. Yeah, I'm definitely got net net difference. So no, I I am going to spend the trade token to do that. Spend that. Spend that. And I am going to have a shipyard. Could I have a shipyard, please? You may. Shipyard. So I am going to have some upkeep and it's, it's do I want to take an agenda? Because the agenda that I would take is probably that one. Okay, so I did do all three actions in the end and that's me done. Right, turn two. Already? Already. Stop playing so fast. Oh, and I get the um, corruption. Corruption is going to go. I'll have a think. Oh, that's interesting. You just open that up. Hmm. What's that? The king one, is it? Dominance. And um, what what's on offer there? That is, uh, to have two or more. Uh, sectors that are pure with five plus population for four influence. Oh no! For every tier every that tier you're in, what? you get four. So tier and the sieves. Oh, okay, so not great. Is it multiply that? So it's multiplied by zero. Is that what that is? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> is that what it is? Uh, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Okay. All right. This changes things. Oh. What to corrupt? You know what? That's probably a good thing to do. Always changed my mind. Right, so. 
if I take autonomous drones, yep. I'm guaranteed to survive the final Voidborn. Is that correct? Oh, it I'm says thinking? during a Voidborn to go miss, you automatically win the combat. Yeah. 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 There you so go. So that sounds like that's a good idea. Okay. So I'm going to do that, which requires me to take a corruption. Uh, let's put that down there. Um, so I'm going to take autonomous drones. Which I can do because I've got my tracker here. Gains me one of those, which will be one of those. Uh, and six points. It's going in there. Uh, So that was that. So one, five cards left, yeah. Just sequencing this. Mm -hmm. You've not got your head buried in these cards at all times. You're just not playing Voidfall, are you? Yeah. Wow. What people can't see watching at home is that I'm laying my cards out, yeah. left to right in front of me, planning the rest of this cycle, if I can. Yeah. But it's... It's like right. there's so many if... things you want to do, isn't there? Yeah. Right. Help me out here then, Paul. Yeah. If, I, if I were to attack here now... With? With this action. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, what are you going in with? Well, it'd be this... So, two of so those. I may spend this to gain one something. salvo absorption. Sorry, one approach absorption and of two which there salvo are none. absorption. So absorb two. So how does how would that work? If I took two in, or three in, for yep. example. So there is no nothing on the approach. approach. Initiatives are tied. We're, we're tied. So you deal one to each other. But I absorb. You absorb one of one, them. and then do one there. Yeah. Then the next round, you win initiative. So they do that. Do one. They do they one to you, which you absorb. absorb and next then I round, do that. you kill it. Yeah. So that would succeed, wouldn't it? Yeah. And you take no losses. I take no losses. Let's do that one then for two energy. Uh, Michael is saying, don't forget to produce for taking a corruption. Who, me? Yeah. Oh, gosh, yeah. Uh, so I need to do that first. Produce. Let's... Go with um, what do I want? What do I want? Can I do that? Do I have to do that I when I take immediately? It? Yeah, immediately. That's fine. That's Fine. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. I'm fine. Okay. So let's go with. Because yeah, mm. oh, no, that's that fight. That's, that's not good. You probably play that with that anyway. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, let's just do a materials, I think. Oh, cool. Right. Sorry. Thank you. The um, is on fire. Are you done? So, yes, so we're doing that. So, I need a Corvette in here, please. Go on. Go on. Oh. Uh, but I've spent this, so it's going back there. So, I'll move another one of those across there. Um, gain this, which is. Uh, I'll have point. Uh, finance goes up by three. Uh, I take this one and score 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. And then at the end of your turn, you have to discard down to four. Yep. Gets me to 81. Catching you up. Come on. Bring it on. Discard down to four. I need that one again. That's an interesting. Uh, I think. I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah. All good. All good. Do I play my trade token on this? I think I may. God, the sequencing in this is it's so interesting. Right. I'm going to play Prosperity, which I can use robotics on because it is one of my favorites. So I will double, double. Flourish, which means I spend two materials, but I'm going to spend credits instead. And that means I can move this Sid Mark twice. So I move this one here. It means I get a support agenda. Uh, do I have? I don't have to do that, do I? Nope. I won't do it's that. optional. I will take a. Oh, can I get rid of that corruption? No, I do want it. I do want it. There's a method to my madness. I absolutely do want it. Let's go in there. There you go. Do I care about what it is? All those agenda slots are emptied of the corruption. Yeah, right? we've kind of just gone. Yeah, yeah well, whatever. Yeah. Right, let's have it. So count that up. Yeah. There you go. Anything it's good for actions, right? And actually, did want to do all three of these by the way. Let's do that. So that's the first, and then I've already paid the, the two, so I get to do it again. To no, this one, I go here. I have to deactivate a fleet power to take this spot. Oh, I need a trade token, I need two trade tokens. This is going to get confusing. Did um, yellow get the trade nexus bonus for returning the trade token? Yes, I did. I took um, okay. this. I'll take two trade tokens. Two? Yeah, I didn't. One from here and one from moving it again. There's one. So I will activate. Two. I will. Do I want to act? Can I activate again? Let's do it. Let's just have enough fleet power. That's good. And I get to produce. I will produce. Um, food is a bit of a waste, but now I'm going to need it. Okay, that's that double action done. Then I can do store, so I'm going to produce um, food again. So one, two, and then I get two into the stock there. And then I can deactivate a fleet power, spend energy and materials. Sorry, I'm going to play that one. one of them. Because I played that one of them. Sure, but you get the action on it as well, yeah, yeah, which is to take a trade token. And I'm going to get which was gender. Wow. I want that one. So I'll take, I'll take a random. Agenda's all round for me. Take a random down here. Pull the one. And I get to put anything. That was where it was when I took it. And I put a shipyard in here. And I'll take a point. And then I get to put this back. So you can put that back for me, please. And then I will gain. Have you got the trade nexus? I have. So you get any of those. Oh, three points. Three points. Points are good in the last cycle. Right, that's me. So I'm trying to work out if I go in there with two destroyers and one Corvette, if I win. Where? And I think I do. I think it's, this the, one. it's the same calculation as earlier on. But I need, I want a tech before I do that. But if I take the tech, I then can't. Yeah, it's it's all the wrong way around, Gromit. <laughs> <laughs> it is all the wrong way around. And I don't really want to take another corruption because then things are very, very bad. Did JP deactivate beat power for the era advance? Yes. Ah. Did you? Yeah. When you when you crossed over. Yeah. Right, I've okay. been gaining and deactivating it, but yes. 
So yeah, there's been a lot of movement of this going back and forth because of um No, it's fine, because I've just noticed release. something. So I'm gonna play Raid. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spend one of my bounty tokens and a credit. Sorry, not a credit, a science. Bounty token and science to take a normal technology, and I'm gonna take the salvage scanner, which gets me four influence and activate <laughs> and deploy. Thanks, Martin. He's watching me like a hawk. It's making sure I don't cheat with the, uh, the Oh diamond. no, it's activate or deploy. That's fine. I'm deploying. So that gets tucked into there. Right. That's that action done. Then I'm going to spend two energy to invade. And we're going to invade here. Yeah, it's juicy bonuses. So we're going in with two destroyers. And we're going to split that Corvette fleet into two ones. And we're going to move that Corvette into there. Although I have a ton of drones. I'm still going to go in with them. And as the invader, if combat is taking place in a voidborn sector, I get to add a reclaim token. So a reclaim token is going in here. Now, do I want to spend a trade? These autonomous drones are great. What are they doing? I can gain one salvo absorb, one approach absorption, and one salvo absorption. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty uh, mad. I'm going to do it. What, when you're the attacker? Or just in combat in general? When you're the invader. In when you're the invader, yeah. Did we do that right earlier? Yeah, you know. used when yours when, you, when you're invaded. Yeah, it's yeah. only when you invade. Yeah. Pretty so good I'm, going to, I'm going to return that. I'm going to spend it. So I've gained an approach absorption and a salvo absorption, which means the safety defences don't do anything. Then I have four initiative. So I deal one. And then my destroyers deal the other two. And I think that's it. I don't think they attack me back. So you went in with two destroyers. I went in with two destroyers One and Corvette. a Corvette. Yeah. The Corvette would have got blown up from the sexy defences, but because you of my autonomous it. drones, I absorbed it. Yeah. Then in the combat, I've got four initiative. Yeah. And they only have what, They three? have three. So you take one off. So I go first, deal one damage. You've but then my two first. destroyers deal two extra damage because they're on attack. Oh, yeah. They're done. Which means they've got no initiative left, which means they don't deal one damage back to me. Yep. Safe. Lots of reclaims there. Did you add one in for your I did. attack? Nice. Yeah. Okay, so that's that done. I gain this token and I gain 10 points. I then gain uh, the, the installations disappear, but I then get three reclaim tokens. So, the first one is I can place a farmer's guild into this sector. I can then place a farmer's guild into this sector, and then I can place a credit guild into this sector. So, I'm going to have can I have a Farmer's Guild and a Banker's Guild, please? Farmer's Guild For those two. and Banker's Guild. Thank you. Yeah, one of them is the right one. There you go. There you go. So that increases my food production by four. four. And my credit production to 12, which is actually six. And for the other one, I will take... Uh, I'll just take credits. Yeah, take credits. Right, and because it was raid, I then gain influence equal to the population of the sector, which is another four. So, I did that, and I did that. And that's happened, and that's a thing, and we're good. <laughs> Changed my mind about four times of which class. That's my good up. Is it? Yes. That Four turns left. Turn. Oh. Yes, Paul is adjacent to JP. We we are now adjacent to each other through this wormhole. Yeah. Go. I'll just stay out of it. <laughs> I mean, so, I, so I, I have that? destroyers. You do. 
tempted, isn't it? But I don't think I've got enough destroyers. I was hoping one of those reclaim tokens was ship a shipyard. That's what I'm really hoping for. Fortunately, it is not. The fact that you got destroyers worries me. So I think what changing my mind so many times. I'm doing here is reinforcement two. Spend an energy and the materials to move this here, spending that which removes that and increases this. Food goes up by two. I want to do everything. Uh, I can't. Done that. Then I think we're going to do this. Wish to move that there. Remove that at the cost of one food, one energy, and one materials. Two actions done. So currently my trade, my home is and you paid. vacant. Yes, I did. Nice. I think I've got to do that. And then I've got options. Let's see what happens. Okay. Have you done them? I have. So, all right. I believe production. Ugh. That should hopefully make some sense. I will do a trade token on said production. I do all three. And I will play an agenda action. Oh, actions off a card. Very good. Right, what do we need? What do we need? We spend stuff before I produce. So let's do this uh, mechanize. I'll spend two of those. Remove that. That doesn't give me the benefit because it's corrupted. I get to produce food and energy. So I get one, two, and one of them, two. Um, production is. Oh, production is preferred focus. So I can double up on one of these as well. Mm hmm. I oh, no need to double up on that, I'll just do that on now. So I'll move up there, deactivate two fleet power. That's 15 influence. Um, and produce materials. So I'll just whack that off again. Overproduce, get another three influence. Okay, and then I might as well do bubble bubble on the bottom. Which is one, two materials to move this twice. I move this twice. It's a lot of fleet power. It's a lot of fleet power. Got too much here. I don't think I do. I'm gonna do it once. So move it once here, deactivate another fleet power, and increase a population by two. I'm gonna do this one. Not doing very well on this. You've got one near. I, so. I will get there. Right. Okay. I, I can do that because that's why I've got these prepped. And then that is. Uh, I think I max this out, which is fine. There's methods for why I'm doing that. Goring purpose. If you want to have gone completely mad, it's probably just from that first then produced it. But, oh well, it's fine. Um, and then I get to. Do this action and produce. Oh, let's put a guild down, isn't it? And produce it. Do I care? Put you there. I'll produce it back up and then get another three points. Okay, that goes back. 
and I'll activate Fleet Power, and that one can go back on the bottom of the deck. You'll go. So these um, techs that have focus abilities on, that happens when you play the card. That's what we said. That's what I've been doing with this one. Yeah. So when I play that it's card... When you play the card, do you immediately thing. do the thing before yeah. you've done anything else on the card. Yeah, I think I think that's how it is. Nigel will know. Nigel will know. Still there. Which means... Can't quite do this in the exact order that I want. I have to play that, don't I? Oh, man. This is... This is a tricky, tricky thing. So, I've got four cards to play. Let me play three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I nearly screwed up because I thought, oh, I can't leave that in there as well. Now you're just saying which tech? Any, any tech? Any, any tech, for example, this one, which says Prosperity Focus and Conquest Focus. We've been playing it that it's as soon as you play the card, you do that before you resolve any of the actions on the card itself. And for me, it hasn't been an issue because I've been able to time exactly, it. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, not sure where that is in the rulebook. It will probably be in the rulebook somewhere, but Nigel will tell us. Some technologies mention one or more focuses. If you if your selected focus matches the mentioned one, you may take this action. Oh, before or after any of your other actions. Okay, so okay. It, it isn't when you play the card. Although Nigel says it is when you play the card. The rule book says see, page, see glossaries. Page ten of the rule book. If your selected focus matches the mentioned one. You may take this action before or after any of your other focus or agenda actions. So it's an extra thing that you can do. It has made no difference to my technology it, because it, it works. It, it will to mine. Do. Yeah, sure. It will exactly to mine. So I'm going to do this because it's fun. Go. I'm going to play Conquest. Ah, you're coming in. Yeah. Fight, fight, fight. It's got to get him next time. <laughs> you're going to get me. <laughs> No, nothing to see here. Well, Just carry on, carry on. Now, That's the question fine. is, do I want to do all three actions on this card? I don't think I do. Can I play my agenda card with it? No, I can't. Right. <laughs> so I'm just doing two actions on this card, but I'm yeah. doing the bottom action first, which is to spend a reclaim token and two materials, of which I only have one, so I have to spend a credit, oh, that sucks. to do two of the following. Remove a corruption from a sector. Yeah. And activate a You chose power. wisely. You chose wisely. <clears throat> then I've played the conquest card, which means I can now reduce the population in this sector, which is costing me points, in order to activate and deploy. <laughs> yeah. And then I spend two energy. You're going to invade. Last two energy, and I invade. You're coming in. With yeah. three destroyers. It was the right call. Because I was about to send one Corvette on, and it's lonesome. Oh. What, into me? And it would have beaten And it would have absorbed the hell out of everything. Because you would have bombarded. Yeah, because you've got 15 materials. So you did. You made the right call, because they were about to say, yeah, go. You can just come straight back. Well, can I? Yeah. Can I? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think I might win this battle. No, okay. Not at all. Well, I need to decide if I'm spending a trade token to get some absorption. So, so if, if, if none of us do anything, well, I can't do anything. Then I can't. I can't use this as a, an ability because it's only off. Oh, card. of course. It's off yeah. that card. So. So if I don't do anything, yeah, we have nothing in the approach step. Mm -hmm. I then have four initiative, and, you and, I, and I blow you up. Yeah. So you don't need to do anything. So I don't do anything. No. Boom. And I blow you up. <laughs> so lots of things change. Yeah. I think 
I gain influence based on your glory you tokens. Gain yes. seven. And then you lose one glory token. That's correct. So I gain seven. Yeah. Then I would lose five worth of production on, on the credits, phase. materials, and science, and I gain five production on. Well, I gain one production on credits. That's one. It's a popular sector. And right. does this go? Or does it stay? Installations go. Yeah. Oh, I've worked on that. Well, this might change a few things. Uh, or I could have regrouped. But nah, let's do that instead. <laughs> yeah. That was fun. It was fun. Uh, I can tell you, you did the right thing because you wouldn't have liked what I was about to do. <laughs> so I did that. Now I'm gonna I did that. I chose this. not to do that. Oh, I'm scared oh, to say oh, end turn. But that is the end of my turn. How many cards we got left? We're halfway. I We're believe more, we? we have three more turns oh, left of the whole game. Oh. <laughs> oh. I don't know. Oh. This is this is miserable. Oh, yeah, it's no. tough enough. Yeah, it is tough. Uh I oh my word. <laughs> I'm uh oh, seven points. And you get a lot of stuff. If I want it. If you, you just wanted to slow me down. Mm, go here. You could. That, that was a contender. I was like, just take all of the uh, the juicy sectors. Huh? I'm, this is what I'm concerned about, though. Yeah. Think Not necessarily because I'll just use a trade token to avoid the attack. It's just that there's 20 points there. But mm. I, I can't get the 20 points if I don't have the five techs. Mm-hmm. And my production has actually gone up. So actually, that's not bad for me now. That's now worth 11 points. Okay. So, yeah, change of plan. Absolute change of plan. Right. <laughs> stuff. Is there <laughs> stuff to be done? There is stuff to be done. Did you regret that? Me? No. <laughs> no, I've just found something quite funny. Oh no. But I won't I won't I won't spoil it. No. Okay. Right, I'm just gonna go simple. I am going to play my temptation card. Which I'm going to take a corruption. To do this which moves that there if I pay that. But because I've played Temptation, I can step my science down step to on. remove that. Step on. And then I will take a tech using my innovation card, I think. Oh, but I took a corruption which allows me to do this i will do my engineering which gets me another three points jay should have 13 materials production rather than mine because i've just lost five from here your materials uh, production should be that. one because i i had more you yeah okay that's still <laughs> nine what's multiple so two oh no it's five here he's right I will take 13 because I up that. Yeah. Trade Nexus. Thank you. Gets me six points. I'm actually losing that didn't matter. No. That much. And me gaining that didn't matter. No. I only use it. Funny though. Yeah. <laughs> actually, you doing that was right because you were in for it. Mm. Oh, no. You hang on. I can't do it. that. What can't you do? I can't take Trade Nexus. I thought going up here is unlocked, but it's not unlocked. You can only have. Two advanced decks. It is not an uh, unlock. Rewind. Yeah. Yeah, so maybe I can't do it, no. do it in that order. Uh, no, it's that one, isn't it? No, that's ignore me. Oh, nobody got that. I've, I've completely forgotten about that. What? what? The ancient ruins. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of like now. Nah. Put them back. Yeah, but... Put them back. Okay. Oh, you can get attacked there, can't you? Oh, but my the... gosh. Mm. Yeah, Paul. So Why'd you go for me? me down to 85. 
<laughs> I don't know which is better, that one or that one. Probably that one, because the full glory. Did you take the 22 influence for hitting the last base on the Civ track? I don't know who that... No, 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 I get that. When did you get uh, that? Straight immediately. Away. Uh, but I didn't get that. You but you, you, but you've undone it anyway. So I've yeah. taken six points off for doing that. And I've taken three points off for doing... Doing that. That's down at 13. <sighs> right, okay, so that's there. So I do need to do that at some point. Means I need to. Oh, I just read that one. Oh, God. That one's worse than I thought it was going to be. On. This this agenda. <laughs> oh no. I hate when that happens. Right. That's fine. I've got time. I've got time. I'm okay. going to play this one instead, Prosperity. It allows me to play this agenda. Which moves up the lowest mm -hmm. thing. That will give me a Tech ability. You're playing that agenda there? No, I've just replaced that agenda. Yeah? Might with might. So you only do that at the end of your turn? You only do it at the end of the yeah. turn, right. Okay. So that's still in there. So, so you, that's you, there. You played that agenda. Yeah, so that's coming. So that gives you an action which you can do at some point in your turn. At some point? Yeah. So, yeah, so I can do that, yeah. yes? But yeah. it doesn't replace it yet. Fine. Okay. That agenda card is just here. So that is one that, that you is played played. this turn. Right. Okay. So that's there. Yep. It gets me that. Yep. And something else. Stakes have been one made. Of the bonuses. Stakes I will take. Made. I will just take a little uh, rummage. Yeah. Cube. I think. Yep. Take a point. So that was that action done there by yep. playing this card here. Right. And then... I can play that for materials, which gets me an agenda. Can I have the bottom one, one. please? That's the only one I don't have. What is that? that is Population at six. One sector at six, five points, and then for every uh, tier that you are on the Thrive, uh, this track, society, is it? I can remember. Oh, which would be four. Which would be... So that's 16 points there. Quite a lot there. I'm not going to do that. If... Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'll take that one. So that goes to hand. Good one. Oh, man, not really good. Yeah. Um... Need to figure out a way. Do something yeah. else. I may as well store because this isn't going to do me any good. So two different productions plus two something. So I'll produce science. Oh, it's one production, isn't it? One, one production, production plus two on something. Uh, so if we're two on that's 10, that gets me 15, that's not great. So one production, yeah. And you can do them in any order. Yeah, yeah. But I, I can only get three points out of it. Yeah. I can't get close enough. So we get to 10, plus five is 15. That's going to maximum. That would go maximum. It doesn't really matter. I'll go um, plus two on there. You and I will produce, science? but no, I've got 14 science. Okay. Uh, may as well just lose 12 instead of, oh, I could lose yeah. one. Sure, let's go science, lose two. Yeah. Uh, and that's another three and points. get three influence. 
Wow. All, Sorry about that. All okay. your actions done. And uh, now that, that you either replace the agenda or throw the agenda away. I'm replacing the Okay, agenda. and that one goes on the bottom of the corresponding deck. Right. JP. <sighs> Struggling. Turn four. I can't reach it. Could you pop that on the bottom of there? Thank you. I'm struggling because I thought my oh, agenda was better one than of those. it was. That can go there. Now I'm after a different one. And I'm trying to sequence this so that I can get what I want. So two cards to play, yeah? Or well, for me anyway. For you, three for me. Yeah, you guys got a harder job. I've only got two to choose. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's the fact I've got no credits. That's killing me. No credits. How can I get credits? If this was a Martin Wallace game, you'd be able to take a loan. <laughs> I could do the loan. So I can't spend materials as credits. Is there a way around it? A way? Because that's producing and I have nothing. That's, that's hurt me more than I even realised. Ah! The only way to deposit one of them down is the point which I could do. Could be really rubbish. And then produce. Got no choice. Has to be those two. We've got three left, yeah? Mm -hmm. You have. I'm just going to have to give it up, I think. That's so annoying. That is the thing that scores. And no, it's not though, is it? It's not the only thing. Okay. Okay. There may be a way of doing things I want to do. So I'm going to innovate. Let's innovate. It's good to innovate, right? Okay. Um, do I want to do all three of the innovation? So I don't want to do all three of those. I. I don't really want to do all three of those, but I might as well do all three. Why not? Let's do it. So, food. I'm not going to spend food, I'll spend materials. And I can produce science, which is kind of not great. And I can produce credits, which is not great. But I can score one influence. Whatever. But hardly worth it, probably. Um, I'm going to do an invention for two science. Now, trade nexus is there. That's six points and gives me a trade token or an agenda. Oh, hello. This actually. Nah, still the same problem. That's fine. I will take the trade nexus improved tech because I've got so many slots so it's fine um so I get six influence from that and then that gives me a trade token or an agenda in fact I'm going to get an agenda in a minute anyway I will take a trade token so I'll take this one and I think Is that credits or science? And now I'm getting credits. Ah, damn. I'll take a uh, bounty, please. Just going for points now. There you go. Well, I think they're all worth one point. Let's <clears throat> take it as a point. And then I'll spend one, two, three, an hour, and I'll spend one of them. And then two of them get an agenda, and this is actually the one I want. Right, the actual one. It's a lot better. Yep. Okay. Then that goes back. That goes back. Your trade nexus kicks in. I've got a new one now. So what's that say? When you gain that, you get the The first time you produce each turn, you may gain free implements or a trade token without the trade bonus. Okay. We get, a, we get a new a new domination agenda, and then you have to slot your trade token. There we go. Done. Right. My brain is on fire, Paul. So I am going to play Temptation along with an agenda. 
because I'm allowed to do that. Yeah. Right. So the first thing that I'm going to do, and this is the fun thing, I'm going to gain a corruption. Put it on here. <laughs> and then you're going to leave it. <laughs> and then I might just. <laughs> I might just walk away. Then you go, I don't want it. So I've gained a corruption in order to oh, scumbag. activate a fleet token, <laughs> activate a fleet power, deploy a fleet power into my home sector, which will be a destroyer, because why not? Uh, and also produce two different things. So I'm going to produce credits. So I go up to 12 credits. 12? Yeah. That's pretty good. And I'm going to produce energy. I go up to four energy. Right, so I've exerted, done that, done that, and done that. All for the cost of gaining corruption in a sector that I never wanted anyway. Yeah, thanks. Then I'm going to do one action from my focus card. And the focus card that I'm going to choose is politics. Yep. So do you still have to pay for it? What? I assume you do. If you do the action from your card, you still have to pay for it. I, yeah, I yeah. have been. Yes. 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 So I spend two energy. It's got the white bit on and the, one credit. So it, right. you do both. Yeah. yeah. White and black. To there. upgrade this one glory token to right, a curly. It's going. We're nearly finished. We are. And I'm going to invade. Is it going to be more into me? No. Or is it are you going here? I'm, I know. Where are you going? I'm going there. Oh, okay. Oh, with, big with points. With all of these. Big points. Yeah. So this is abandoned. Yeah. So, so the installations point. disappear. Yeah. Um, the sector becomes corrupted if it wasn't already. But you just made sure it was corrupted. Just just the spite me. Just run away from you. It's nasty, isn't it? Oh, nasty. It's dreadful. And a bounty token. Yarvik. You can't trust the Yarvik. Okay. He's after these. Look at these here. He's taking uh, your uh, slice. Have another one. Oh, is that your power? Salvage scanner. Ugh. All that hard work. You don't get another glory token then, no? That's, no. Oh, that's rubbish, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Just as long as you haven't got two more attacks. <laughs> yeah. So I am going to spend a trade token. So that I've got one oh, approach oh. absorption and one salvo absorption. So one one yeah, so the star base bounces off. My drones go in and take that. Yeah. In the combat, I've got four initiative. So they're all dead. They're all dead, yeah? Yeah. I basically saved the destroyer. Yeah. So just like need. that. Just like that. I think actually, it's just like that. It's because of this. As the attacker. Once per combat, you get one, one, one damage, damage per, per destroyer. thing. They're just amazing, aren't they? So I gain... They're just not good on the defense. 15. Which is why I was going to go in and then wipe them out. No defense here now. Look, get in. I can't. I got... Oh, you're not, not alongside no, it. No, okay. this is when I get these three reclaim tokens. Yeah, you do. Right, so. What do you want? Well, the thing is. What's that? Well, no, they're not great. Are well, they guilds? Oh, gu put yeah. guilds in. It's yeah. guilds. Science. Food, science, science. I'll just have three resources. Look at all those. Should he's, be spending he, them. He it. We will be now. So I'll have a credit. He's got, he's got six actions left. What? I'll have an energy. And I'm going to have another energy okay so that was the action that was the first action from the temptation card that was the second action and because i played an agenda i get to do an invade oh gosh is this why you said this would be fun no that was the fun bit all right but, I, then. but I get to do two invades you've got one a bit spicy haven't you i like it yeah it's gone I like spicy it. i like it go on we're headed I should go back this way. Get that. 
No, how much glory no, have you got? No, he should return here. He should just go home. He should go he? return. Yeah. No, I am going. I oh, know he is home. We're at his house. Where are you headed? Well, I don't know. What's worth it? You can go straight in here, couldn't you? Is this actually a... Re is it? Is it? I don't know now if it's worth it. Is it worth it? I don't think it I is. Mean... Because you, you've got reclaim tokens that you can do your third actions for anyway, right? Which is better than this. Oh, but you would you invade... You get a tech. You would invade here, right? That's Would what you? I'm thinking. Yeah. But if you want points, I will get 15 points. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That so makes more sense. Six then. points to come and get me 15 points. So you can wipe them to out. Take that out. Yeah. yeah. I think that's and you good. get a tech, so yeah. you can upgrade and get more. Yeah. Points. So I move, I move in here. That makes more sense. Um, so this becomes abandoned? That becomes abandoned. Just going in, wiping things out. He has no care at all. I've got two. Letting the boy, okay. boy born come in. Reckless. Is Reckless what he behavior. Is. It's, it's bad, isn't it? <laughs> right. Uh, um, anyway. I've got two more cards left. So if I don't, if I don't use my autonomous drones, there's a safety defense. I lose one. That's fine. Uh. So I lost the destroyer from the sector defences. Okay. But then in combat, I, I, got I blow them up. Yeah. You just blow them up. Yep. So I win initiative and deal one damage, but then I deal an extra two damage. Okay. Yeah. Destroyers are fantastic. They're really good on like on multiple attack. invades, aren't they? That was okay. Impressive. So I gain glory. I gain fifteen glory. Mm -hmm. I knew they were my friends. Um, I also gain a tech, so I'm going to gain improved tactical transports. Okay, what does that do? Well, I get six influence. You get a pip bump. And I... Can I have that? Yes, I can have that. I either increase the population of a pure sector, or I deploy to fleet power. Oh. Youch. You may as well do this one get here to come here. You get that again, won't you? I'm going to lose oh, no, one of these at the one. end of my turn. But you'll still get. So actually, I made a mistake. I shouldn't have upgraded the one to a two. You should have. I should have upgraded a two to a three, two to a three, and kept the one, knowing that I was going to lose the one. Yeah, that was it. my. Do that. Do it. If you don't do want it. me, no, no, do it. So that shouldn't be there. That you should one. always keep a one. We'll just asterisk it, that's all. Yeah, yeah it's, it's yeah. again, if, if he wins, it's not yeah, deployed. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm deploying two fleet power, which can go anywhere. Yeah. Anywhere you are. Well, you need to think about oh, yeah, the, anywhere the boy I control. born in uh, skirmishes. I'm not bothered about that, because I'm going to spend a trade token. Oh, uh, so you, you've covered. Oh, because you've got autonomous drones. I yeah, have the autonomous around. drones, so right, I'm, okay. I'm just going to give him a yep. old Baywatch DVD and say, go away. <laughs> Baywatch DVD. <laughs> um, Fair enough. And I get points for every sector that has two or more fleet power in it. Nice. So I'm going to put the destroyer into there. Where's the destroyers? No, the destroyer. Destroyer of worlds. Right to there. That's going to be pretty pants. And um, we're going to put a destroyer into there. I am strong. Have you finished? No. Oh, my word. Oh, I think so. Maybe I have. Worth doing that? Is it worth it? It is. I mean, that was a pretty epic turn. That was an epic turn. In fact, the last two turns for me have been the best turns I've ever had in this game. <laughs> <laughs> They've just been fun. They have been Save good. the best in you. And now last. that gets tucked, even though it won't score because it's corrupted. Mm -hmm. But that is it. Right, two turns left each. Whew. Rain. Nigel is saying, yes, you may pay. I don't know what the... That was may the um, uh, exploit action. When you did uh, your um okay. oh yes yeah. yeah uh well that was quite a lot of influence oh and good. then i have to discard that at the end of my turn so i am now going to play my pretty good temptation penultimate turns penultimate turn i temptation. know my last card i know what to do there. i'm going to advance this for 22 points Ching. eight one zero Sure, 100, uh, but that gains me a corruption. Um, but it is a temptation, so I'm going to spend one science. Oh, I get production out of that. 
Right. So I'll do my engineering, which gets me way beyond 15 for another three points. That's more sense. Oh no. Oh no. Um those are gone. Uh pay my science to remove that one. And because it was a temptation, I get to do this, which is an invade. It's not about doing that. What does invasion do? It just scores me that, doesn't it? If I were to go there... You'd get your glory. You'd get your glory and you'd get that. Which would be a point. It'd be a point. Yeah. It's two, four, five, six, seven points. And I would lose one ship. That's the where no. I'm at. The oh, sector, do, uh, what are you attacking with? If I attack with this. Three. So well, there's no sector defence. No, you no, win no, initiative, no. you deal one, they'd hit you for one. Yeah, you'd lose a ship. I'd lose a ship. Shippity ship. No, but I'd have to abandon this, wouldn't I? If you went in with three, yeah. yeah. If you went in with two, it would be mutual destruction. Yeah, so no, there's no point doing it. So I won't activate that action. Um, I will, though, do... Uh, Matt's asking, can we check influence? How much does each player have? I am deliberately not asking. Because I, 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 I don't want to know. <laughs> All right, let's... Nobody zoom in. We can't. And we see don't what know. we've got. We don't know. It's getting tense. Okay. I'll show you how much I have. You two don't look. No, right. We're not looking. I'll show you how much I've got. Um, if you can see that, the, the black on the purple doesn't show up too well. But that, that's what I've got. I can also peek at the two forthcoming agendas. There you go. There's no fourth <laughs> round? There is no fourth cycle. What? And we're not playing till one. <laughs> uh, oh, I need one more action. Then that, that, yeah. all my cheesecake o'clock. Take there. a heck. Using my innovation. Paul, Paul, Paul. Or the Ruined other thing. Me. What does the other thing do? Ruined me. Looked. Well, I'm glad we had some player versus player. Because in the last time we played, yeah. we, we, we were still learning the game and we didn't kind of get round to it. It's the fact that it disrupts your cycle of yeah. your programming. It's not the fact that you've taken the sector per se. It's the fact now, what do I do about it? It's well, like, me losing that one because yeah, I didn't pay the autonomous mind. drones has just completely messed up the entire plan that I yeah. have here. But it's cool. It's, yeah. It's good to know. It's that. nice when you can see the mistakes that you've made and mm -hmm. know what not to do next time. Absolutely. Well, you took the, the tech I wanted to handle. You're I didn't. I, I didn't. <laughs> it was you. Which one is it? He took them. The energy cells. Trade Nexus. Oh, Trade, Trade Nexus. Now, there, that was mine ages ago, Stephen. It was not. It was. It was not. But why is it sat on my board? <laughs> Absolutely, uh, I'm having it. I'm having it. So do I want a tech which is six points? So invading is six points, but I'd lose something, so that's no good. I think I want a scrap. I think I should have a scrap. Uh, but I'm worried about having the scrap and then being left to do that. at the end with a void ball and kicking my butt. That's that's what I'm left with. You need some Baywatch DVDs. I do. I need to go. They, they do love them. Uh, do that. I can't do that. I want to do that and that. I can't. It sucks to be me. It sucks to be me. <clears throat> so I'm going to get two. So I can only really go in with three. Uh, um, um, um. So that one's the better. That's the better choice. Still going to get wiped out though. Boy bomb coming with two because I'm scoring that. Oh, this is painful. <laughs> Seven points though. Having that there, but it's annoying. Mm. So I'm not particularly interested in doing that or that. I can't do that one. So I think wherever I look, I can get six points. <laughs> so which six points would which you like? Which six points would I like? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I will take this to deny somebody that. So that costs me two science. To take that one. 
which is orbital docks, which gets me six points. You can have three techs. I can what? You can have three. I can have three techs. techs. So yep. There's one there, one there, one yep. there. Uh, six points. Activate two fleet power. Two and fleet then, power, and then deploy in well, shipyards got, wherever shipyards. you want. Yeah. yeah, I don't think I need those anymore. So let's go. And you've got plus one shipyard everywhere that you've got a shipyard. That's more than I've got. Yeah. So I just as well go here. Not got a shipyard. It's the only way you've got a shipyard. Is it only where that, that one is? Yeah. That one is. Whoops. I'll do it, but that won't be grouped. Okay, so one there. So you could put two there if you wanted to because of your orbital docks. Yeah. Sure, but that's the only place I've got there, so that can go there, and then one there. We need a Corvette, Corvette token. please. And Lovely. And I think that's that, and then that agenda goes in. Yep, done. I think that's fine. I think I'll be okay, because then I can regroup. No, because I can't do that first. I really need... A deploy. Can't have one. And I can't. I can't figure it out. I don't think there's a way of doing it that I can see. I just need that symbol, but I don't have access to that. So, what? So if you lose a sack, you're just losing a um, glory token, aren't you? That's the only that? thing. If you lose a sector, you just lose a glory token. So the void one skirmish. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only downside, right? Uh, yeah. So if this happens at the end of the game, yeah. it doesn't matter. I'm losing one victory point. Well, no, you're not even losing it. Because you don't gain for your glory tokens unless you actually attack somewhere. Yeah, but if I... I'm, well, I'm thinking if I attack here, and then at the end of the game, the skirmish happens and I lose it, all I'm losing is one glory token. I believe. We're talking here? Yeah. Yeah, but... You don't score for your glory tokens after that point. No, so it doesn't matter. Does so it doesn't matter. Unless yeah. you've got a card that scores for yeah, your glory tokens. That's what I'm thinking. So I'm yeah. overthinking it. Right, fine. So, is it me? I think so. Uh, yeah. Reinforcements. I don't think it's worth doing that. So I am going to do muster. So let's do some muster. Dunk, dunk. And I can get two of these. One here, one here. And then I'm going to spend an energy to regroup. And they're going to go in there. That's that. That's me done. Oh, I'm playing politics. I'm going to spend two energy, ah. one material, which I don't have. So I'll spend credits instead of the materials and a credit. Sorry, no, it's two, it's two energy, two energy and a credit. I'm going to swap that four for a five. And then we're going to invade. Oh, Christ, where are you going? Well, I can't get to you. Good. <laughs> <laughs> this one. So from here, I can go either here or here, basically. Yeah. Uh, Shh. And, and, sure. and there isn't really anything here. No, so you want the production and the like there, presumably. Yeah. So. Nah. Because there's quite a lot. Five. Yeah, I've worked hard at building this. Uh, Let, let's go into that. Sectors up. Wow. And someone comes in with a few destroyers. I didn't see the bank behind. I'm going to add a reclaim well. token. Because of my. I'm scared of what he's <laughs> he, on points he's, wise. He's now. coming after you. Salvage now. scanner. Um, it's right to be afraid. There's no sector defences. I wish now. So I just, I wish, I just blow I up. wish I regrouped into here. I wish I regrouped into here. Yeah. <laughs> Is that it? I think I just blow it up. Oh, yeah. Easy. I just, I just blow them up. Easy blow it up, yeah. Okay. No uh, so I gain... Oh, Christ. Can't add it up. Too many. 15. Oh, my God. Oh, What's he done? 15, 15, 15. Was that 45 points? That's about a lot. Yeah. Three actions. That is a lot. This game has turned on its head for me completely. Yeah, you had a rocky start, but it's... Um, I could put an energy guild in the sector, which I can't. So I just get any one resource. Stonking last round. And I will have... 
Um, go on, let's have an energy and a science. Do I need an energy and a science? No. So I'll have a point. I'll have a point from that one. And I'm having a resource from the last one. I'll have a credit. I just want to go in there. I don't know why. I okay. didn't think you'd come back. So that's that's that action. Yeah. Then I'm going to do control, which costs me a credit. To take a trade token. Mm -hmm. I'll take a trade token. Now, which one of those do I want? I don't know which one of them I want. Um, I'll take the I'll take the credits. Actually, back up to twelve, um, and I can move a corruption. Nice. So I think okay. I want to move this one. Yeah. So it did backfire a little bit. Oh, hang on a minute. No, don't take the dice. No, five. Oh, I need to adjust my production as well. So I'm going to put the corruption on here. So my production of credits goes up by five. It can't go up at all. In fact, I forgot to knock it down after losing that one. Yeah, because okay. you left it. And then... But I've now got it back. Sure. So let's just check that it's right. Four. What my materials? materials should be on nine. Yeah. Nine, my yeah. science should be on... Five. Five. Yes. And I don't think I've produced since losing it. Okay. No, I haven't, because I just bounced from there to there to there. I think. Apologies if I got that wrong, but... Uh, that's it. And then I put the trade token on there. Okay. Um, Last round. Hang on. Hang on. Oh. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Is it all no, it's apart? fine. It's fine. It's fine. I've still got this to sort out. I've got that to sort out, but I'll do that. Right. Last round of the game. Right. I haven't got anything interesting to do, I think. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> so um, I don't want any. I think agendas. that becomes abandoned because you went in, and then they come back in. Yeah. Did you get your tech for going in? I think I did. If I, You've if done I, a lot, haven't you? If I didn't, then You've done yeah, a lot I've, three, I've, I've three, lost, uh, three I've turns. Track. I I think I took a tech for going in. I yeah. think I took the tactical transports. Yeah. And because of tactical transports, what does it do? I played politics. <clears throat> Didn't realise, but you may take either one of the above actions. So I could, I could do this, um, which I will. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> well, the problem is if I reduce that to increase that population. Yeah then I'm losing points for not having the two fleets. But I'm gaining if I'm having the four population. So it's, it's exactly the same points. No, it so no, I'm not going to bother with it. Okay. Uh, why did Paul take credits when you can take a bounty? Where's where's that? So that's your ability. A takeaway, you can spend bounties for credits. Um, because I've got an agenda that gives me... Uh, four influence for every three credits and i had 11 so yeah. that's put me up to 12 which is effectively four points yeah that's why i took the um that's why i took that well the good news is i can't do any more attacking thank christ <laughs> <laughs> he's can't can you just calm down a little bit with your moral I, I, I have been that's been fun though it's it good has to been see a lot of fun. Okay. How different so, is the scenario? Yeah, I yeah. think I haven't got much to do. So it's going to be development. It's going to be bump that by one. But that doesn't do anything to that. Cost me a science. Anyway, uh, I wasn't even worried about the end. Car. Do 
we need to check. Are, okay. are these things worth anything at the end? No. Nope. No. Not unless you've got agendas. Any that... tied to agendas? No, 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 no. Any art? No, no, no. This? no. Just, are you I not? Forgot about this. One. You're not even gone there. No. How rude! Uh, yeah. So one materials, I think. One materials, and I will take a. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I'll take um. Fantasy saying. Oh yeah, they say. Do you have to pay to deploy direct destroyers now? I'll I'll take a science. It makes no difference what I have. Science guild. Yeah, I'll take science. Yeah, Panos, you're thinking of Dreadnoughts, not Destroyers. Dreadnoughts definitely have a cost. And they're limited to one, one cube per stand. Per stand. Yeah. Unless they're upgraded, yeah. But that's the second time we've been asked that tonight, so that's another... Yeah. Oh, Carriers and Dreadnoughts. Um, carriers carriers, dreadnoughts. Same, yeah. carriers cost food, Dreadnoughts cost materials. Yeah, that's it. I'm done. You're all done? Mm. Okay. Uninteresting JP, last final action. action. Temptation, oh. playing an agenda. Ooh. Which has Ooh. a nice cheeky invade on it. Well, you're going to invade. Well, I mean, I'd lo I would love to invade you. But you can't get there. But I can't get there without abandoning in this. And one. And, and it's not going to work. One Corvette so, going into two destroyers. So, nah. And I'm thinking, go here. Yep. And then I'll lose in the skirmish. But who cares? That's kind of what I'm thinking. Okay. Um. I just want the points from the fight mm -hmm. more than anything. So going with three. Going with three. No sector defences. No. So you win initiative, you kill one of theirs, they yeah. kill one of yours. Yeah. Next round you but, kill one of theirs. Yeah. You gain eight points and a bounty token. Which I'm gonna take a point from it. Yeah. So nine points. Nine influence in to total. Yes. Okay. And then that's the invasion done off the agenda. Then I'm only actually going to do one of these actions because I don't want any more corruption. So I'm going to do a very simple because um, it's the preferred focus. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do my uh, industrial eyes and just can't move that anymore, but I'm just going to overproduce and get three more points. Yep. The only thing I can really see myself doing. Three more. Okay. Done. Oh, and then I'm going to slot this in. You're going to slot it in? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'm playing production. I am using a reclaim token yeah, to do all three. Yeah, a bit there. Nah. <laughs> which is my special ability. So oh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move that up, which gets me a reclaim token to my home sector. I'll have that one, which is for influence. Huzzah! Then I'm going to do this where I produce um, three. Yeah, so I produce three food to eight. I produce four energy. I produce six materials. And then I gain one influence for every pure Farmers Guild, material, uh, Miners Guild, and Engineers Guild, which is one, two, three, four, five, five. And then I'm going to spend one food, one energy, to remove, to remove the corruption. Yeah, that's the one to do. And regroup <clears throat> that into there. Mm -hmm. Done. Finished. <laughs> was that, that was a to it? That oh, was it? That's... Right. It's a similar way to love letter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So, base C. 
Skirmish. I'm getting attacked by a fleet power of three. Yeah. And I'm going to give him a trade token and say... No, thank you. Auto no. win. Well, that, that shouldn't be there yet. I'm, I'm resolving last. Okay. Well, Stephen. I auto win. Because a you auto win. Drones, yes. Right. You can't spend a trade token, can you? So, yeah. So that goes back there. I've given them something. He's going. And is it here that they attack? It does have to be because I'm fully defended here, fully defended here. That's the only place that I was... Sad. Okay, and they come in with how much? They come in with two. Come in with two. You're two. Wipe no text. Out. Lose so that. they wipe each other out. You lose that. So at the end, it's kind of like... You lose control of the sector, but the sector wasn't scoring you anything anyway. Exactly. It's all right. It's, there's always cycle four. It is. It is. Technically, it's oh, abandoned. That's why I was asking. Like, what's the the panel? Is, it, is it literally just... So I think that's the skirmish done. That's fine. I don't mind that. Do the, do the destroyers have a weakness? Yes, in defence. Well, they're, they're only as in weak defense, as corvettes. They are the same as corvettes. Yeah. So, yeah, oh, they're just souped-up corvettes yeah. with massive attack powers. Okay, upkeep. What? Mine is oh, two, yeah. four, seven. You kind of did me a little favour by taking this off, making it slightly cheaper. My food is seven. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. No upkeep for there. Ten. Oh, no, there's another upkeep there. Ten done. No upkeep there, none there, none there. Don't have that. Yep. Everybody paid? Paid yep. up. Right, galactic objectives. Let's do it. So, Stephen, which of those two do you want to do? I'd like to claim the bottom one, please. You I have, have five or more times. No 20 points. Corruption. 20 points. JP. I'm doing the top one. So you 50. take your highest production and add to it your lowest production. Is it the yield or the... Um... It's the yield. Yes. So I'll get 15 on this and Pretty 0 sure on that. Pretty sure it's the yield. We're at that point in the game. So let's just triple check. Shadow of the Void. 3F. Yield. Then that's cool. It was 16, but I lost... Uh... The Banker's Guild just knocked that down one. <laughs> Bad luck. Uh, 3F. <coughs> His name. Your highest production yield. Yeah, fine now. 15. And your lowest one. Well, I can't do the bottom one. Well, I was going for the bottom one, but then I thought, actually, removing all the corruption and losing me seven points. So it's kind of like, nah. It's 11 removing for me. Because of this. I get seven for having one on my track. I've got eight and plus three. Better option then. So I get 11. Okay. Ooh. Now it's the money. Money. Agendas. Job. Stephen. So no, agendas. Um, we've all got four uncorrupted agendas. We oh have. yeah, we're scoring big. So this is a big score. So uh pure population up four. So I've got one, two, three. That's nine points. Nine points. Nine points. Nine points. Nine points. Uh down one, up one. One I point have... per pure farmers guild. Yeah, the top three. Miners guild. So there's one, two, three. Or five. Five points. And then minus one per corruption on your house mat. Which is zero. zero. Next agenda. Was your upkeep six or less? Yes, it was. Five points. Two, four, five, six. No, uh, five points. Um, yep. For every two pure engineers guild. Yeah, so. Yeah. That's easy. Five points. Is your energy yield eight or more? Yeah. Five points. Okay. And then fleet power in pure sectors. Uh, one, two, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. Ten. Okay, sure. And so at this point, yeah. I've scored more than in the tutorial. Hey! So it's okay. So you already do better. It's okay. Yeah. If it's you good. have one or more pure sectors with six population. I do not. Okay. And four points for every every pure tier. track where you have... Yeah, I can't, I so can't that's see. four times four. 16. 16 points. Oh, is it just on per the... tier. It's the top it's the, the tier. tier, yeah. It's that specific, it's that track. specific that track. track. That's what I got wrong. There. 
in the first agenda. I went, right, I went, okay. oh, this is really. Oh no, I've got the so wrong track. Like Sixteen points. I picked the wrong track up. <laughs> so your influence. Final score. Final score is that one hundred and ninety-two. Cool. Okay, off we go. Okay. First agenda. First agenda is three points for every sector with, with no empty, no empty guilds. Mm -hmm. So uh, <laughs> six points. Six points. One, two, six. All right, and then I get two influence for sectors with three. So cancel that's another four, two, three, four, and then I get two for every non-corrupted um, peers. So I've got three here and four, four here. there, so seven, so so fourteen. 14. That's nice. One, two, three, four. So that's your starting agenda. Yeah. So I guess your house is about pushing up the civilization tracks. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. And he's picking which ones you want to go for yeah. to lean into what strategies. I really like Nervo. Really good. Um, well, safeguard policy is five for having uh, at least three sector defense. I do. So that's five. Okay, five and two for every fleet power and pure sectors. I've only got two. So that's four. Two, three, four. And then this one is seven for having a corrupted civ track. And then two for every two uh, miners guilds, I get five, so that's ten. You've got four pure miners guilds. Yeah, ten points. Ten. Final agenda. Final agenda. I don't score this bit, but I get four for each. Uh, same as Steve. Okay, so, so six, six, six. Just six. a different track, is yeah. it? Final score for green. Two hundred and twenty-four. Two twenty-four. Yeah. I need to sleep. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Cheesecake okay. first, then sleep. Okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> right. Uh, 11. Hello. Cheesecake. Three points for every pure sector with two or more fleet power in it. One, two, three, four, five. Fifty. Three points for every pure sector with four or more population. One, two, Three. Yep. Nine. Uh, one point for every reclaim token. Started off slow, but I got seven of them in the end. And one point for every two bounty tokens. That's two. Next one. Do I have three or more glory tokens? Yes. Four points. Hoovering up. Hoovering them up. Uh, four points for every three credits. I have 12 credits. Oh, nice. 16 points. When I took that, I had like one credit and, I, and no way of getting any more. And I thought that was a <laughs> silly idea. Uh, next one. Do I have a production yield of four or more credits? I do. Seven points. Two points for every pure sector that has one or more shipyards or star bases. One, two, three, four. Eight points. And my final agenda. No chance. <laughs> uh, every pure track where I've reached at least that level. Okay. No. Good shooting. I'm, I played this mainly for yeah, just just right. for that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but pure sectors with three or more population. One, two, three, four. Twelve, 12, 12 points. Still. Good to get 12 points on an agenda. Final score? You smashed it, yeah. haven't you? 246. Nice. Well done. Absolute, total and utter game-changing move. That when you win Me there. taking there and then going, oh, hang on a minute. Yeah. Destroyers with that. Multiple attacks. I'll go here. Fifteen points. There. Fifteen points. There. Fifteen points. That was insane. I got forty-five points. Forty-five one points action. in oh. one action. Is it one or two? Two actions. But also then taking it back two at the there. end. Yeah, that yeah. got yeah. me about an extra fifteen no, that was, points. That was, uh, that was a super move. Because at the end of cycle two, it was like it's game over. JP's won. You've got loads of agendas. Loads of points coming in. Yeah, you knock me down. 
So literally, it was the it was the killer move for you. And as I said, if you didn't come in, my next move was to was set, to, was to send one Corvette in yeah. and absorb the hell out of with your, with your oh, bomb. With my, wait, 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 with my wait. This is level four, right? Doesn't it multiply the difference between the various factions? So I got two times my score. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. So your difficulty four. So you get four <laughs> times that. Right now, it's very late here. We're all exhausted. I'm very hungry, but. Just before we disappear, I'll see if I press the right button this time. I press the right button this time. Hey, um, so, <laughs> if you're still with us, thank you very much for, for bearing with us. And some people probably skipped through. Um, this was our first full proper game with the physical game. You've been playing it a bit on TTS. Yeah. Uh, and we played a two-player game of this, but three-player game. First, first one that we've played. Yeah. It will go quicker. None of us are experts at the game. We were still thinking a lot. I reckon you could probably play this in about three hours, maybe three and a quarter. Yeah. Yes. But we were a lot of time. I mean, half of the time today was me undoing my moves and doing them again. I think that was at least. Oh, well, we all explained that. a lot of the game. Yeah. Year, so. Um, so yeah, a few thank yous before we go. Obviously, thank you to everybody who's been watching. If you are watching this video back afterwards, please leave me a comment uh, in the notes. Let me know. It always helps the the YouTube algorithm and stuff like that. Thank you very much to Mind Clash Games for sponsoring this video. A huge thank you to all of my patron supporters for all of their support over the last couple of months while I've been working on this game. It's been um, difficult, should we say, um, but it's been thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyable. And don't forget about the contest. I am running a contest right now to win a copy of Voidfall. Uh, the link is... Hang on, I'm going to put the link in the chat right now. And it will be in the description of the video as well. There you go. The link is in is, is going to appear any minute in the chat. Um, the answers to the questions that you will get asked are not in this video. They are in the how to play video. So if you want to win a copy of Voidfall, all you need to do is go on, click on that link, enter the contest. You will find the answers in the how to play video and leave me a comment on that video as well. Um, yeah, there we go. Now, in terms of what we think about the game, this is a sponsored video. So we're not going to give you our opinions on the game, but what I can tell you this is every month I record a monthly video log where I am more open about my opinions on games. And in my last monthly video log that went live just a few days ago, uh, I do talk about my honest opinions on this game. JP does a podcast. He's part of the Whose Turn Is It Anyway podcast. You have already talked about this on the podcast? Yeah, I did a kind of first impressions. Okay. We uh, first did the, the tutorial. Will you be talking about it again I on the next one? probably will do because a bit more seasoned. Done yes. a few more uh, uh, playthroughs now and uh, yeah, I definitely yeah. will be giving it a So version. check out the Whose Turn Is It Anyway podcast at whoseturn.co.uk. That's the one. That's the one. Um, and available at all good podcast places. Yeah. And if you want to know what Stephen thinks about it, I'll send you his address and you can just pop round, knock on his door and say, about that void for Yeah, game. How yeah. is it? Yeah, yeah, do the address. Send me a, a letter and I'll, I'll, I'll personally <laughs> reply to everybody. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, we're, we're exhausted. But this has been, it's been, it's been, it's been emotional. Yeah. <laughs> it's Especially been, for me. My, it's, it's been good. My population is still reeling from your destroyers. Yeah. So there we go. Right, we're all done. Thank you very much to everybody for watching. I'll see you all soon. Yeah. Take care. Thank Bye. You. Bye. Bye.